question. Who wants yeah. to give me the recap? Oh, me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you talk, but after we apprehended Apostate Hold and his Golden Iris conspirator, we were rewarded with downtime to pair ourselves, equipped for our next. Practitioner Shale of the Razor Cliffs enticed Ivy, Ghoul, and Mikael to learn and test some experimental contraptions to progress the research in the war against undead with some help from Gideon, perhaps. Close to the mic. Yeah, you're, 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 cutting, you're cutting out real bad. Ah, okay. Do do do. Snuggle up, tell us your secrets. <laughs> Gideon, hey, Ariel, and Mikael was... spent more of their downtime on the training ground. To their surprise, the Weeping Knight and Kylos joined in. Mikael got his butt whooped and his spine cracked as the Weeping Knight leveled him with a literal support beam. While Gideon began his training with Kylos to fight and see with the inner light. I spent these days watching them train and processing some madness. Writing, drawing, pondering, filling the diary with heretical haunting visions and self-indulgent sketches sketches of the crush. Ivy took great delight in this in the meantime, reconvening with Mr. Watermelons, learning new spells, and tormenting me relentlessly to open aggression. Yagul focused on honing his skills, crafting and lamenting with Mordecai over the loss of visible youth, reminiscing on the escapades of the once infamous blind bandit. We shopped, we chatted, and maybe we even bonded. We rest, we rested, and now we were called to duty. Sorry, we were called to duty at the dawn of the fourth day. We were called to the present mission, mission of heavy weight and great urgency. As foretold, the golden eye of a lock and high opens within the mountain overlooking down frown to the west. We are sent by her high holiness herself to rat out this nest of scum and Along our way, we've seen the evidence, we've seen the rotting corpses, greeting visitors to this forsaken town. Now we are met with a devilish figure coming out, a relic from Yagul's days as the bald bandit. There we go. Okay. So. Excellent. <laughs> So anyway, your friends. yes, you've just arrived in town, uh, been greeted by the sheriff. Okay. Uh, um, you've been led towards the veritable palace of the barracks. And uh, for the most part, your, your horses have been stabled. Your carriage has been also stabled. I don't know if there's another word for that. I think it is just stabled. Mm -hmm. Parked? There would be a <laughs> anyway. compartment to anyway. hold those. Anyway, anyway. And it's also been stabled. So now you guys have a choice on how you want to go about this. You and your mission is pretty straightforward. You have to find where the cultists are, how far their corruption has went. Anyone and everyone could be a suspect in the town of Downfrown, depending on how you want to go about it. We'll see the success of your mission. As you are official church representatives, that carries with you some privileges uh, that you should keep in mind, but also some, let's call them burdens with that privilege. First, you are essentially uh, practitioners of church law, which means you can arrest people, you can interrogate people, uh, and you can, well, you can basically do all, all the things that you know people of that normal kind of power can do. It should be noted that whilst in town, as the sheriff is in good standing with the church, he outranks you. So keep that in mind. It's still mm -hmm. his town. So, that being said, were you going to say something, Necro? I thought we were coming here under disguise. Yes, but if you okay. are to use your church, uh, that's what I'm saying. Is that you have, you, if you reveal yeah. yourself, you'll have that kind of power. But mm. the burden of that is that you'll no longer be in disguise, which yes. is what I was leading up to. So yes. keep that in mind. Excellent. As of right now, your cover story, uh, did you guys come up with one or did I give you one? I can't remember. Neither. 
Okay, you guys are just in disguise? Okay, well, then that's up yeah. to you what you want it to be. Um, which, you should, which you should probably figure that out before we go any further, just saying. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, as of right now, you've been greeted by the sheriff. Um, <laughs> the bald bandit has sweated himself and not revealed himself, thankfully. And you have parked and stabled your carriage. So what do you guys do immediately after that? Come up with a plan. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. People pick them we on my do hands. that while you're fixing the talkies. Yay. What? The talkies are fixed. Oh. Excellent. Veil is here, oh, boys. We wait. can just oh. veil and God veil. damn it. I fixed yeah, Reavies, but no. <laughs> I fixed Reavies, but not everybody else's. Thank you. Mm. Excellent. Um. Okay, guys. So what's the plan? Looks at Captain. Yes, Captain's responsibility. Honestly, Captain, you're in a really good disguise. Love how you just guys like just Austin. love being a goofball right here, right meow. All right. Robots, robots in disguise. Up with the right meow. So, what are the bones of remaining in disguise? Well, we could just... Or should I wait until after you're done resetting the talkies to brush over that again? What? Um, you, you can just, we're, uh, we're doing do fine. Um... Where our this is like a long term mission infiltrating the town yeah. and evaluating the extent of the Alok and High Worshippers influence. So to some extent the longer that we can remain incognito. Thank yes. you. Yes. Well at least until we decide when we want to spring forth the better. What if we were here for, you know, particularly business endeavors? Part of a company, maybe? What company would you suggest? Mm, It depends on what the law of the land here is. I mean, we could do illicit drugs. Ah, there we go. Or... fuck's sake. Or we could do something else, perhaps, uh... We have someone who's particularly maybe interested in starting a mining operation in the town here. Or something less elaborate and just our companion Gideon here is not taking to travel well, so we diverted and are going to take rest here for some time until everyone is ready to move on. I am about sick of travel as well. I, I, well, it's only been a few days. My goodness, you're such a princess. Anyways, like what if we what if we were what if we are here to survey the uh, the land to see if it's worthwhile for our employer to start a mining operation here? That would give us credence to walk around the town and to look places that we normally wouldn't be able to. Such so as like, surveying geographical stations in the mountains. Yeah, I can yes. see how that would work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does does have some. Be a prior notice before informing the sheriff of this. Well, that's a good no, point. No, if our it's for a private because... company, then we don't need to. He, we're he wants simply to looking, it on the download. He doesn't want any of his competitors to get wind that we're looking for oh, land here before leave jumping it to in. You to figure out the names and other things that people may ask about that. I'll. I'm down for being hired hands with these two. Um, oh. do we know of any mining companies that might be somewhat, um, kind of well known, at least in uh, Corvanus as a whole? History checks. No. Anybody got training in history? I do. Uh, I think yeah, we have one person. Um, one moment. I, for some reason. Oh, that did not swap out. My apologies. I thought I've released the correct character and got the right character. I did not. That's on me. Hmm. All right. I thought I popped out uh, Ariel, but apparently it was still on Kafira, so I'm taking care of that right now. Okay. So. God, it's off the right now. Oh, I believe since this one is requiring me to be trained in history, it's advantage. Yes. No. No normal roll. You need oh, to have cool. the feet. The feet gives you that. That is not as good as possible. All right, that sucks. 
Nice. It's probably a dwarf, for what we know. Man. Rude. They might they might like long walks on beaches. It's a dwarf. Of course they like they long might walks stare on at beaches. The, they might like to stare to the sun till they can no longer see. We will never know. All right, so... Yeah, thank you. So you can't think of any prominent mining companies that mm -hmm. would be in this area, maybe? Mm -hmm. Well, good news, because our company, actually, we're uh, up from Safira. Oh, good. Do you think you can help them with uh, their disguise, Yagul? What? I mean, Yagul right. is our prospect. He's our expert uh, when it comes to rocks and mine. No, that would be Gideon. Listen, Gideon? you're the dwarf. Yeah, yeah, but Gideon is my assistant. Come along, Gideon. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Excellent. Honestly, I like that. Huh? You two would make a good team. What? Listen, you are <laughs> Professor Rockbottom and his no. assistant, Mr. Timbles. No. Oh. That's, that's not my name. I do, can I borrow I'm your glasses? Going, I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, fine. Here you go. These are, these are just cosmetic, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's the whole fucking temple. We're in you disguise. Said was, you said I was Mr. what? Rock bottom. Professor Rock bottom. Professor yes. Rock bottom. Okay, I yes. remember that. You, you're, you're, it's not his fine. name. <laughs> Mr. Timbles, I'll, I'll have you. You uh... could have just sent us to kill people, <laughs> and instead we're going to get this nonsense. Fear the name, Mr. Timbles. <laughs> well, Mr. I am Timbles under the impression sad. that they are more inclined to believe that since we have so many eye operatives, that surely we'll be able to handle intel gathering. This is a test of our competence, folks. I suggest we take oh, it as seriously no, as we can. We're well past testing, Captain. Uh, this is think... this is not a test. I think you, know, test. you you could be the party who's meant to deal with the financial structuring of the deal. Said if we ever get to that stage. Yep. Um, Ooh. you. Oh, goody. Uh, Mikael and Rivi, you can both act as our bodyguards. Rivi? Who? Uh, Thorin. <laughs> is this her secret disguise name? Is this my disguise yes, name? Yes, yes, it is. You're not. <laughs> God, you, you two can come up with your own disguises. Um, I, I think that would work out if you guys were both our uh, hired arms. We just need to make a few adjustments with you, Mika. You're pretty imposing, so that works for us here. And I don't think you really want to talk to the heretics much, so just brooding and standing over someone's shoulder would do pretty well with that. Mm -hmm. I I am good at that. I can be physically imposing. Excellent. That's, excellent. 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 Doing the parties, protection and security, I can do that. And what's and, uh, your nickname, Thorne? Mikhail? And what's your nickname, Ivy? I'm I will be... Notes. I will be, uh, let's see. Hmm. Amber Starlight. Please, calm oh. yourself. I choose something more subtle. <laughs> Amber Star, okay. It's the same damn thing. Alright, you can just call me. <laughs> Amber, Amber will Amber. do fine. Grandfather, Amber, Amber is fine. Yes. Alright, oh. and then for oh. Thorn and Michael? No, what? Uh, I quite like the name Morpheus. We'll go with that. Oh, good one. I like it. And I'll be uh, Nova. Nova and Morpheus. Okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, Ariel. Ariel, what do we want your, your name to be? Be Miss White. Miss White. Okay. Okay. Funny. Oh, right. so you picked up on the game reference. That's good. Is Arcadum okay? Uh, he's, uh, he's Arcadum is not okay. Death. He's he's getting the flames on the side of the face just, and uh, just do your thing, guys. remembering Clue. Don't yeah. worry about me. He's crying underneath his desk oh, already. I worry greatly. No, please. <laughs> this is, I, you know, I don't know whether I have the betting chips on this exploding in minutes or days, but it's yeah. somewhere around here. It's gonna be funny, dude. Oh dear. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, oh. Grandfather Rock Bottom, let's get you going. So, it's Professor right, Rock wait. Bottom to wait. you. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I am. Yes. I'm. I am what now? What is the matter? You are Mr. Tibbles. Mr. Tibbles. I'm not gonna remember that. Okay. What can you shorten it to, Mr. Tibbs? We could just call you your Gibbs. Or Mr. T. Or Gids. We could, Gids. We could just... call you Mr. T. How about that? <laughs> How about just Gabe? Let's go with Gabe. Gabe. All right. All right. Okay. Honestly, I feel like Gabe oh, would you be don't even like to pity more, the fool? Someone more uh, strong and uh, of girth. Tibbles was just funnier. Now it's yeah. just serious. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I'm with you there. Gideon, Professor. you don't like to pity the fool? Mr. T would fit you so well. But it, it and, is fine. Uh, Lauren, what was I... your name again? Nova. I am Miss Nova. <laughs> and... Alright, are we ready? I have it in notes for us, so we know who's who. <laughs> Back on. All right, so yeah, die, please. <laughs> Thank you. Pray <laughs> the life remember. my soul to take. Go for it. All right. Okay. So now that you all have your super cool backstories. And super cool <laughs> names. What are you going to actually do with those things? Yeah. Well, I think we go approach the uh, sheriff. Why would we approach him? Well, we need to get uh, permission to look around the, the area here. And also we need to find lodging and stuff. And it's if we're going to be doing business, we need to make contacts with him. And he seems like the most affluential person in the city or town. Shouldn't we talk to like... I, I don't, the person that sells land in the area shouldn't we talk to that person instead well, yeah, I would recommend no, no. doing that to build up our alibi and we can begin questioning people if well, necessary how are we going to find that person that is very true the sheriff would know maybe we just ask the guard where the inn is we can get yeah, some we can rest do that. because well, we're already at the tavern pretty sick of oh we're already at the tavern that's why we have everything stable. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I, I, I thought we were in our room discussing this. <laughs> I thought so. I thought we were actually on the I way in. I thought we were in, in the yeah. carriage. No, you, you guys are in the carriage. You haven't went in the inn yet. Oh, uh, yeah. We're just... Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we... I think we... Uh... Just whispering in the carriage. Yeah, you okay. haven't spoken to anyone else. Thank God. At to this point. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I thought I thought we were yeah okay good I was like what we're in the fucking end when did this happen <laughs> um all right uh I think that we have uh I think we have everything set um we're gonna need to update crisp so that way he doesn't spill the beans I think if we need to talk about anything or get a hold of someone um incognito I I have the ability to talk to someone's mind although i'd rather not do it but we can we can at least get a hold and send messages to and from people if we need to oh thrilling crisps is gone is by the way know. oh good yes. nice why is crisps gone um because drinking time yeah it's time to drink okay mm. i guesstimated that might be the case figured i'd ask anyway and uh yeah, so, uh, Mr. Watermelons, what do you think of this? Oh, God. All right. You really bring that heresy out? He's in human form. That's where we left off. He, I he's turned him into. He, <clears throat> oh, he looks human. Oh, he's in human form. Okay, in that case. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Again. Uh, I take five damage. I think we should just. I think, he, I think we should just. I think he's uh, going to kill us all. I think we should just like, just chill, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, make a cuddle yeah. bottle. And okay. Well, no. that's not. How how's that gonna get us information? We'll get it from the universe, man. Oh, so you think we just you know yeah, he's old right now. wake and bake? Bro, I'm already big, bro. Oh, okay. 
So I, I think we all can tell that you're stoned. Not your glory. I think we rely on watermelons for <sighs> the way forward. Yeah. You know what? Can you like, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, just, just turn yourself into a pipe or something. You got it. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. God, I fucking hate my life. <laughs> Like, what happens if I kill my familiar? Can I get another one? <laughs> it's a familiar. <laughs> We're here at the roller coaster of emotions again. Oh god, I hate my familiar. Right. A pipe hits oh the god, seat. I love him. He's so hot. A pipe hits the seat. It's right. a little I swole. Pick... <laughs> what do you mean swole? It's kind of buff. Do... What do you mean it looks buff? There... What? Do... How does? What? Does Is that there even anything mean? else you need? You I think I'm going masculine. to go and get a drink. Up. Right. Oh, I thank you. believe oh. we have everything that we need, and Great. if further questions are done, we can simply state that we are under contract not to say anything for um, non-compete. All right, quick, what's Thorn's name? Don't say it, Thorn. It's Thorn. No, no. <laughs> it's Nova. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Are you guys going to be able to remember? Yeah. I am. No. <laughs> Give me a second. Well, here's a trick. If you don't know, just just use they and you. Or just say ma'am and sir. Slave one, slave two, slave three, four, five. Yes. You just say apprentice, come here. An apprentice gave slash yes. gibbles. No, no, come here. I'm going to teach you about how to do this. No, no. Yes. All right. Let's go get ourselves food. I'm fucking hungry. Man, lucky guy. Also, did you just give me a masculine shaped rod? Yeah. It's called a spoon for a reason. It's a spoon. It's a, it's a pipe. If you don't know what a spoon pipe is, you have my condolences just stashed oh. in your pocket. All right. It's not a spoon. You guys going in or are you going to... Yeah. I, I'm getting yeah. away from this before. Let's I'm get cloaked out. up. Make sure Something. all the regalia is concealed, and let's get some food. A fucking food with the running. It's not a, I don't want it to be a spoon. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, I just googled it on it. I'm so glad you did. <laughs> Now, if I'd appreciate it, if you would come back down to Earth and stop being so baked, and we can get the rest of the started, okay? I'm not Jesus baked. Christ. I haven't smoked even that much. Anyway, mm -hmm. so Thorn, thankfully, oh my God. walks into the tavern. As you walk into the tavern, you can see that it is um, not a lively place. It is, in fact, quite the opposite. It's kind of a downer. People there look mm. quite sad. The bartender doesn't look like they really want to be there. Uh, the only happy person in there is Crispy. Good old Jonathan Crisps. Getting Crispy. Mm. I'll take a deep drink of his ice cold ale. Crispy. Mm -hmm. He'll wave at you. Hey. Hey, oh. We'll pull up the. Stool and sit with Chris. Oh, I will walk inside after them. Not being in a moving vehicle. All right, does everybody else come in? I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. No. Okay. Well, what do you guys do? I will be sitting near Thorn and getting. Beverage. Thorns Provided that we have corn. Ah, you get it, boy. This man is brilliant. And this is where we run into the struggle. Only one among <laughs> us who has <laughs> commoner coin is being difficult. That's right. All right. Do we don't have? Currency? Oh yeah, we can't use any of our currency. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was being descriptive and apparently that's an issue so I'll try to adjust. Huh? What? Hmm? What are you talking about? 
What are you on about? I was trying to be descriptive, and I used the wrong name, and apparently that was a malfunction, so I'm going to try to fix it. You're doing You're fine. You're good. I was just giving you shit. It's it's fine. Continue. Uh, it's it's oh not fine. God. It's fine. It's not fine. I'll Look, fix it. Just embrace the air. Please, Miss White, just by. take a breath. I We're finally am on solid fine. ground. All right, who's talking to who? Let's go. Uh, Secretary Nova, you can do all the talking. You burden me greatly. You see that bartender over there? He looks pretty happy. Editor's note. He isn't. <laughs> let me go get. Let me go bother Ivy for some money and deal with him. Oh, you got it. Oh. So we go off to get. to shake down <laughs> Ivy. Ivy is outside <laughs> doing something. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for the back streets. Yeah, Ivy? Yeah, what's up? We can have. Coin secure lodging so that everything's off well. I don't know why they didn't pay you before coming here. My goodness. Also, I don't know who this Ivy person is. Amber. Oh, do not thank you, Nova. Me. Okay. Well, here you go. And I hand you five gold pieces. And then we go back inside, matching perhaps the in. Barkeepers and How much is lodging and drinks? One gold each. As you wish. Here you go. How long is the lodging? Probably a Don't day. Don't worry about it. It's for anyway, a day. Anyway. Okay. Please do catch me up on. The lovely goings about, uh, we rode in and that was thrilling and this place seems about as down as the rest of town. I'll Can be you... honest. Yep. I wouldn't be here if I was you. It ain't worth it. Mm. You know, every town, I guess, has its ups and downs, but not in down from. Mm. My condolences. <laughs> Even the name's depressed. What is down from? Changed. Changed? <laughs> Not much. That's the problem. The sheriff's been taxing us dry using church law, and well, I've barely kept my doors open. Mm. Yep. Those of us that could escape started to leave until the sheriff forbid that as well. well. Although, people still run. They just don't run on the streets. They run up into the mountains where the sheriff can't find them. <sighs> but, you know, you didn't into hear the, that from me. the mountain? Yeah. Can't imagine you could be prepared for that. This mountain's <laughs> Connect to the demon way. No, there's a road that takes you straight up through them. Along the silent faces. It's supposed to be a pass to Mornow. People would rather risk the mountains and its fury than <laughs> sit here and die a slow death. Well, I hope for the best for them in their journey, but I'm sorry to hear that it's gotten so desperate here. I appreciate the information, but we're going to have to be here for a bit anyway. Hmm. Well, you're suffering. As always. Do yeah, go back to relaxing with Chris. All right, Professor. I dealt with it. Lodging so secure. You Do you learn anything? Uh, there's a path 
to mourn how through the mountains that the desperate turn to a path oh. that I'm sure would be easy to pick from. Do you get an area around where in the mountain? All right. <laughs> get back. And as he frees up, if you could tell me more about the path and where it starts. Ain't much to say. It's on the western side of town. It's a gate. It's all locked up. Sheriff's got his men watching it now, but they can be bribed or get them drunk enough. You could probably get through it. I appreciate that. Mm, it's failed to keep open. You're breaking up again. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's nice to keep some options open. Thank you for that. Um... Farewell. We will return to Professor Rock Bottom. There is a gate that you can find on the west part of town where it begins. Oh, we have no use for these names now since we know where to go. All right. You guys wish to stay here, rest the night? Maybe look around a bit more? Or risk getting caught by the sheriff? Or straight to where we go? Wait, why do we care about a path to Mornhow? It's on that mountain. It's an easy Plus. place to pick off people. Wait, uh, Kadem, did I ever get that map back from, uh, Lantern Bridge? Yeah. I did? No. Oh, what am I even doing this? I have a map. <laughs> I don't know. I, Why are I you doing this? <laughs> literally a map. Uh, typical professor. Of the tier of the... Of typical rock the mountain. Bottom. We don't even have to do any of this investigation. Why do you even come into town? <laughs> Because part of our investigation is figuring out the extent. Nah, eh, you're right. But if we go to the mountain with this map, we can probably find records there. In the hideout. Wherever it might be. Because I have a map. Perhaps. Alright, meanwhile, outside. Ivy, you're looking yep. for alleyways? Alleyways... Possible dens of Cretans. scum and villainy, some Cretans. Any thieves in the chat? <laughs> okay. Any ne'er do wells? <laughs> any, uh, any of the right people? Yeah. Oh, right for all the wrong reasons. Well, that's that's what the actual in-game term is for them is uh, the right people. Oh. And they're oh. not they're not called rogues or thieves. Well, they, they oh. can be, but the actual term is the right people. It's how they the right people. It's how they oh. it's how they reference each other. In these oh. camp. Believe, bro. You don't even know about this. Alright, well, you go down one alleyway, and you definitely find some of the right people. These these uh these alley squatters are just squatting in the alley, playing dice, and generally hating each other and the world around them. One of them looks um. up as you approach and will be like What the hell are you doing in here? This is our alleyway. You better have a good reason. Yeah, a good for, reason. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the right kind of people to talk to. Oh yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll flash you some thieves, Kent. You have no idea what it says. I just give him like a head nod, and you guys want a little uh, something, something? Kind of give him like a little sign that we want, like I want to smoke with them. <laughs> All right, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You're a fucking narc. That's what you are. You're a fucking narc. Yeah, that's what you are. The other two, the other two are kind of like looking at each other. The other guy's gonna roll his insight. All right. 
Oh, nice. he'll kind of he'll he's not fully convinced, but he'll he'll kind of stride forward and be like, "You're kind of new to this, aren't you? Normally, you don't go in and you just ask. You bring it up in normal conversation. But I ain't never seen you around here. So where you from? Uh, I'm from the south. I'm kind of on my way, trying to get away from problems, and well, I somehow fucking ended up here. He moves forward now fully into the light, no longer obscured by the alley shadows. He has his arms and his hands wrapped in white cloth, and he has blonde uh, blonde hair, almost like hay, as he leans forward and takes a look at you. That's what he looks like. He's very anime. Oh, God. oh he's kind of cute. No! Nice. Yeah. Amber, don't dare. He'll lean forward, mm. and he'll just be like, so where are you from? Safira. Safira, huh? Well, that's where I landed anyways. Uh-huh. How's the dawn? The who? You know, look at his boys. Yeah, you're definitely not one of us. All right. So you, apparently you're trying to sell us something, huh? Well, yeah, I've got my own contacts. Real good stuff. Okay. I'm looking for someone who's wanting to make some good money. And how would we make good money off of it? Well, I sell you at a really good price, and then you guys can do whatever you want with it. You get it for a low enough price, there's quite a bit of headroom for you. <laughs> yeah, there's just one problem. Take a look around you, sister. You see anything kind of odd about this place? You know... It has seemed a little more depressing than I expected. That's because everybody's that? fucking broke. Sheriff oh. takes all the money. Ain't nobody got extra money for a good time. Mm. They're too busy trying to feed themselves. And I'm not in the business of watching people destroy themselves. I don't mind selling to somebody that can take it, but I'm not going to watch somebody lose their home and die. I ain't doing that. Me and the boys ain't mm. about that, are we boys? No, we're not, boss. Yeah, yeah you tell her. You know, I, I, I respect the shit out of that. You know, I'll tell you what. I'm looking to start something big, you know, and if I happen to make it and I have a place, I'd, I'll offer you guys a little uh, little endeavor, depending on where it's located and if you guys are willing. Willing to what exactly? You know. Kind of looks around things that you don't want to uh, the daylight see nothing malicious just you know good old fashioned dealings uh I ain't working for no brothel I still try to choke at that um <clears throat> no oh my oh heavens no no what does no, that was, mean was, no heavens was, no what I was just talking about weed. Oh. The boys will start to snicker. You shut the fuck up back there. I mean, now she ponders for a minute. I mean, the brothel actually could, could make some good money if you get the right clientele. Especially if you get like a high-end kind of city, you know? Yeah, like problem is that all to be able to serve as the sheriff. Ain't nobody gonna want to do that. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't talking about this town. I don't well, think this town would be... Worth it. Well, anyway, what look, guys, look, what, what, what are we still doing here? What you, what do you mean? What are we still doing here? Where are we gonna go? We ain't got no money. Oh well, how much would you guys need to get out of here? No raise his eyebrow. That depends how much you got. I didn't say me. I'm just wondering, like, how much would it cost someone to get out of here? I mean, if I'm here, what happens if I get stuck? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Like. How much do you think? Like, we ain't gonna get it. Because where are we gonna I, go over here? The mountains and, what, die off up in the hills with some orc tribe or some wayward demon that made its way up there? Or maybe one of those other freaks? Yeah, well, we don't want to join those freaks. Yeah, fuck those guys. And then, or we mm. go, or we take our chances, what, in the Pale City and get arrested because I winked at a priestess wrong? Your name is Wink Wink. Yeah, I know, okay? 
but it's not because I'm like winking at him. It's a twitch. It's involuntary, son. Ah. He winks at you. I just kind of, I just kind of like nod and just kind of not really notice it too much. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. I mean, what about like the, the, the Three Kings and stuff? Like, isn't that area like decent or maybe like the Silver Coast? That's a long way to walk. Bro, how plus, much would a carriage be? Plus, plus the Three Kings is fighting and stuff. We, we ain't gonna get caught in that. Uh, I ain't looking yeah. to walk through a war. Yeah, well, speaking of war, what's been going on? I've been hearing whisperings of Mornhowl. Apparently somebody took the took the king's throne from him and the prince is all right bent out of shape about it. Yeah, shape was bent. And now he's getting a bunch of church people together and apparently he's going to go teach him a lesson. Yeah, lesson, like a professor. Marlon, stop. Just, just let's just stop. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I see you guys, you boys are in a pretty bit of a predicament here. Honestly, just Corvanus has just gone to shit. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Survive. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. So, do you need anything else or what? Well, I'm looking to buy a little information for you. If you could tell me more information about the town, I could possibly part with a few gold. I'll look at the boys. All right, then what do you want to know? Well... What's up in the sheriff? Like, what's he been doing to the town? Taxing I mean, the shit out of us. Has he been at least within the law? Or is it, like, something that, like... Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Despicable. At least he could do it, like, the proper way, you know? Yeah, well, he is doing it the proper way, apparently. Yeah. Anything else you might know of? That depends. What do you want to know specifically? Do you want me to just tell you everything I know about the entire town? We'll be here forever. True. I'm looking for anything uh, nefarious, uh, particularly dealing with uh, cultists of some kind. Cultists? Hey, I, yeah. think he, I think she means them freaks, boss. Well, yeah, Sounds we... like them. Yeah, we... I mean, if you want to know more about the freaks, I could tell you something about it. Yeah, I would love that. Well, they're... Kind of creepy. They talk to you when you're alone. I don't even know how they move in and out of the town. Sheriff doesn't really seem to want to do anything about them. In fact, every time somebody brings them up, he just shuts them right down. Kicks them in the teeth if they keep up about it. You think he's in on it? No. No. Mm -hmm. He's got too much hair on his head. What do you mean by that? Oh, they're all freaks. Completely bald, all of them. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds fucking horrible. I pull off my cap for a second. Oh, I got a full head. I got a, I got a, no, I got on, a full on. head of hair. I, hold on, hold on. I was kidding. I'm going to take that back. Okay. I was no. kidding. That was a joke. Was no. A joke. I, let it, I let it go too far. I let it go too far. No. That no, no, was a joke. That was a joke. It's no canon. And I said that just for fun. Um, No, he says, but you know, I don't, I don't think he's in on it. I mean, if he was if he was in on it, he'd be putting a lot of all what he's built for himself at risk, and he's done it legally, so... Mm, true. But why turn such an eye to it, though? He's, maybe he's being paid. <laughs> Bribed not to do Bribed. his job. Hmm. That I could work with. I mean, I don't know. He might also just be that stupid. Too busy counting his coins. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe the kind of stupid kind of person you know when you talk no, i don't think he i don't think he's stupid but it's like it's kind of like you don't want to see something that would challenge your way of thinking i guess uh, I, I don't head in the sand as they say where i come from i, I don't know look, look i don't think he's in on it i mean he might be mm -hmm. but i i doubt it Not he's got too anything. he's got too much to lose you know it doesn't make any sense because he's cult is as creepy right like they got these eyes, like tattooed on their foreheads. They talk about the the darker truths 
unseen. They've tried to get me and the boys convinced to go up into the mountains with them, but I ain't never seen anybody go up in the mountains with them come back. So I'm not looking to get killed, all right, or sacrificed to some some Etherean damned uh, spirit. All right, I'm not looking to or turned into a demon. Yeah, or or the or sodomized. Wink will stop hell? and just kind of look. Marlin. Is he is he okay? Sorry, he's a little touched in the head. Got kicked <sighs> by a horse too many times. <laughs> I kind of like bow and like give respect to him. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mom said I'm pretty. Anyway. I bet she did. Anyway. That's the best I got for you. Do you do they have any kind of distinguishing features that one would notice? Well, I mean the eyes and the tattooing oh. of them on the forehead. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like them. Yeah. I mean, they don't all have that, I guess. Oh, they don't? Well, I don't know. I, from what I've seen, sometimes they'll show up. They got their hoods up. Sometimes uh, they'll show up. You know, they don't have anything. And it's just a face. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. I see. All right. Well, I'm going to pull reach into one pocket. I'm going to pull out a little small, tiny bag and hand them each uh, a gold piece. He'll look at it. He'll bite down on it. I, I flip it up in the air, catch it. Pleasure doing business with you, uh, Miss um... Amber. Amber. Yes. Hmm. All right then. Are you sure your name's Amber? Yeah, it looked like it'd be a representation of a number. Shut the hell up, Marlin. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, I guess every name could be a representation of a number. I mean. Amber. That's true! All words and numbers are fictional, made up by those like, that read them. Shut up, Marlin! Do you mind if I uh, play a little dice with you boys? Yeah, if you're ready to lose some more gold. I don't know, I'm ready to win that gold I gave you back. Ha! You're welcome to try. Alright, do you want to squat down in front of the alley with them and play some street oh, yeah. dice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're not shooting dice in the alleyway. All right. Man. <laughs> All right, nice to know that uh, you guys are... <laughs> she looks like she's got a name that have a double reflection on it. Shut the fuck up, Marlon. I mean, Amber <laughs> is five letters long, so I mean, you could call me five. Amber, what are you doing? We're not I'm Amber. Not there. What? Oh, no, I followed her. What? What? I sent Arcade a DM. Oh. oh. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Rolls dice. Okay, in that case, uh, Gideon says that if you squat down and begin rolling, uh, they will immediately shoot up and see this guy. All right, <laughs> what do you say, Gideon? Uh, Amber, what are you doing? Uh, my God, I told you. I am not going back with you. We're done, okay? We broke up. Cop, Get over it. Cop check. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking listen, narc. Sorry, That's guys. what he is. This, this guy followed me. Oh, listen, is this guy bothering you? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, dude, I broke up with him. and he Hey, just, hey, he hey, no hey. Get the picture. Jack the lady said no. So you put your trouser snake back in the hole and get the fuck out of here. Before you and the boys tune you up real good. Yeah, we're going to polish your marble. Yeah, I'm going to polish your staff. Marlon. What? Stop! <laughs> I have no idea what the hell you just said to me. I don't, what is a trouser snake? Damn, Marlon, I think I you might have... No snakes in my trousers. Marlon, I think you might have found somebody you could be friends with. <laughs> The lady said no, so turn it around, Jack, before I get the sheriff. I don't think you will. He'll raise an eyebrow. Oh, oh okay. You don't think I will? Well, you're gambling in the back alley street. That doesn't I, seem like I'm, you would get the sheriff. I'm, I'm going to step in between them, and I'm going to say, like, thank you. I'm going to turn to uh, the one guy and i'm gonna say thank you thank you but let's not escalate this okay we don't want any of that kind of problem and you you need to get out of here 
Why why are you gambling in a back alley street? Fine. You know what? I'll talk with you later and you'll have that fucking talk you want, okay? Just leave. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll see you later then. And he waddled away, waddle waddle. <laughs> Marlin realizes he might have a chance. All right. As soon as he leaves, uh, well, as he's leaving, Wink goes, Yeah, you better keep walking. Hell yeah. Yeah, we showed him, boy. Yeah, yeah, chivalry. Yeah, yeah. I think he could talk to me. Honestly, <laughs> you guys are you guys are good guys. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. We could have been knights, couldn't we, boys? Yeah, you would have been a great knight, boss. Why don't you guys... I mean, okay, don't... Don't take what I'm saying at like, don't don't kill me for this, but you know that the church has opened up their like requirements. They pay exceedingly well. I ain't into the church. I don't like. I, mean, don't I don't like. Pay. I don't like praying. Yeah, I mean, praying makes no oh. sense. Sometimes Metheria speaks to me. Shut up, Marlin. <laughs> now what does she Marlin say? Marlin will be spared. But here's the thing, you don't really have to be into the whole mumble jumble. I mean, the number of characters that I've seen in the church, my goodness. Have you not, like, noticed them around? All right, you maybe know what, maybe, enough to maybe, avoid them. maybe we'll give it a check, all right? Well, maybe we'll see what we get. Yeah, yeah, we'll look at it. He's exceedingly we'll read the brochure. well. Yeah, we'll read the brochure. I mean, yeah. like, Christ, they pay in those anointed She's silver. Those things right are, now. like, 150 She's gold apiece. Like, holy fuck. Just whispering what does she say? terrible death. Shut the hell up, Marlin! No, so. no. All right. Let's get back to this game and I can win my money back. All right. Let's get back to squatting in the alley. <laughs> All right. Throughout the game, Wink and the boys will try to convince you that you don't need to go back to talk to Gideon. He's not worth it. You need to be a strong, independent woman and stand by your decision and move you know forward. What? You guys make a lot of sense. I, I need a... I need a take my step forward into my new life. Oh, God. And Wink you guys keeps, are, Wink keeps you guys nodding are, at Marlin, and he keeps getting close to you while you're playing. Yeah, what's up? Marlin, say something. Hi. Hey, what's up? Marlin, God, right? God damn it. Meanwhile, back in the inn. <laughs> okay. Turn. Where the fuck did Gabe go? <laughs> you know, that is frankly not my problem right now. How Where did you that? lose? How did you lose him? Where's that mountain? How did you lose him? He's a giant around. mountain of a man. Oh my god. <laughs> Professor Rockbottom, I'm going to leave this to you. That's the little shit. He Do you want me to so go well. look for him? Uh, you are also a mountain of a man. I don't, I don't know about that one. Eh. Do you have a problem with own. me walking around by myself? Do not walk around by Gideon. yourself. I have wonderful news. Yeah? You meet somebody outside on the road. No. Oh yes. I'm going upstairs. The sheriff. <laughs> yes. You meet the law. You are arrested. T. No. I am the law. What do you mean? I am the law. I am the bra. Banda bra. Wonder bra. No. Very supportive. <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs and closing up the windows. Have a good night. Are you being angsty no, teenager Thor. right now? Come on, Thor. No. I'm trying to make sure that nobody sees when I light up my blessing to see if there's heresy within this tavern. I'm pretty oh. sure they'll feel uh, that. Mikael's gonna go to the edge of the... We should probably go up. Uh, Mikael's gonna go to the edge of the bar and, like, uh, just take a step outside and scan the street, see if you can see where if Gideon's, like, just standing out in the road fucking around. Yes, what? he's standing out there just like the wolf. I'm standing in the middle of the road, menacingly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, no. what well, idiot I mean, he's not, would do that? He's seen, 
<laughs> he, he's like, I wonder if he's uh, doing like you do, Professor Rock Bottom, and just standing in the street. Let me go see if he's outside. All right. All right, well, as you're standing outside, kind of wondering what the hell she could have meant by all those things that she was saying, uh, you hear this slowly approaching you. <clears throat> Get in outside. Mm -hmm. I like a cheech cheech road deck to make it home and a healthy fish with a big backbone. And this man comes walking up to you, singing a song to himself. He doesn't even notice you, for he bumps into you. Oh, oh my word! Oh, hello there! You're gigantic! Oh, I love him. Thank, thank oh, you. Uh, yes. Greetings and salutations and to you, traveler. Jesus. My name's Abraham. Town wicked waller and oil salesman of the finest varieties. I'm the town apothecary, I am. Responsible for its ailments, its books, its uh, boo-boos, and various other abrasions. You look like you're from out of town, my fine fellow. What's your name? Uh, uh, Gabe. Gabe, you say? Gabe, a little hesitant there. Hmm, forgot your name, did you? Don't worry, that happens to the best of us. I, however, oftentimes forget that my name is so long. By the way, my name is Abraham DeLacy, Geo7, Casey Thomas O'Malley. No, and I have to write that. Abraham O'Malley, okay. You can just call me Abraham. How about, oh, no. how about Abe? That way we could be Gabe and Abe. You can call me Abe if you want. You can call me anything you want at all. So tell me, my dear friend, what brings you down here to Down Frown? This ain't exactly a place people go to get uh, their smiles turned around, if you know what I mean. <laughs> or was it the other way around? Frown upside down makes a smile. Yeah, it's the other way around. Other way around. My apologies. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Why are you here? Oh, uh, I came in with a group of people to possibly do mining things in the town. Ah, yes, yes, going to cities for communications. I've heard the same thing over and over and over again. Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain another thing to me at all. But let me ask you something, sir. Did you come uh, here with any sort of abrasions, contusions, heavy mental burdens, anything of that major? Uh, I have amnesia. Amnesia? That's a hell of a problem, sir. But thankfully to you, I got just the thing for that. That's right, the finest oils that may expropriate your scalp, or ruminate within your memories, and give them a nice jostling around. It'll wake you right up good and proper, I promise. You can fix my memories? I can sure try. <laughs> Depends entirely on, uh, well, constitute. Oh, it's a lot of different things. Would you like me to try? Uh, well, I... T you may, but I... I oh, don't. come on, friend! He'll lots out with you. Let me take you to my station. It's just a little ways outside of town. I got a little carriage tucked away, you know. Locals be quite, you know, they, they don't really, they don't stop partying here, you know. The nightlife is a serious thing, and I gotta get my beauty rest, you understand. Also, you know, I was wondering something. If you've got amnesia, do you know where you're from? I, myself, I'm not even from here. I, I came in through Sapphira, baby, from El Calcatech. You see, I come, I'm a foreigner, as most of them call me. I don't really like the term foreigner, because foreigner detects that I'm some kind of stranger, but I've lived here for several years. I've lived in downtown, uh, downtown specifically in the downtown of downtown, in fact, for quite some time. Oh, uh, I, I can't really say I, I know where I'm from. I just woke up here one day. Don't you worry, little fella. We're going to figure out exactly what's going on inside of that noggin of yours. I'm going to reach in there and give it an old massage, give it a little kiss, cure it up real quick. Don't you worry. Wouldn't that... Kill me if you massaged my brain. Oh no, it won't kill you at all. And they say what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. <laughs> Come on with me, Bill. Uh, okay. Gideon, do you follow the um, the charismatic, probably totally legitimate man outside of the city? Yeah, he seems like a nice enough guy. Oh, good. <laughs> you guys left him alone. Fuck. What do you mean, you guys? You did. You left me alone. Listen, I was doing stuff. Okay. Okay. We're gonna come. I was trying to do stuff with you. We're gonna come back to you, Gideon. Hey. 
You're the most straight-laced person, and I can't. You're gonna blow my cover and get me in trouble, <laughs> bro. You're gonna make a weak man at me, bro. Yeah, you're gonna be a narc. You're, you're a fucking gonna narc. narc on me. You're a fucking narc. That's what you are. Dude, the worst part is, is Ivy. Ivy's less of a narc than you are, and that's impressive. All right, so <laughs> Thor, Dude, you horny. go upstairs. You uh, take a nice waddle. You clear off. You know, the window, cover it with a curtain, it's all nice and dark, and you bust out your necklace, yeah? Oh. You're right, okay. Oops. Sorry, I just got back, but Thorn, I heard... you go into your room and you close off your window, make sure mm -hmm. it's nice and dark, <gasps> nobody can see. <clears throat> Hopefully. Yep. And yes, we will activate the pendant. And see what the vibe is like. Detecting heresy. There's vibe check. None. There's none. <laughs> there's none in the immediate vicinity. There's none. There's none oh, for, for right guys. now. Ah. Uh, Yet. Does it detect passive exposure this. or? I don't think so, since it didn't activate on um when we were checking the beds back at the sword, and technically Gideon has passive um, exposure. Peru. So I don't Peru. think it picks up on anything passive, Peru. unless that was an oversight. Uh, no, it's... I mean, Tina would never make a mistake. No, it, it detects specifically the presence of heretical magic. Oh, uh -huh. so hollowed magic doesn't count. Correct. Mm, mm -hmm. That's so useful. Wow. We'll see. I have hollow passive exposure, guys. All right. Um, yeah, right in your Ms. head. Miss White, it seems like we are, well, currently safe within this tavern. Would you, for tomorrow, would we want to talk to the sheriff or start investigating the mountains based on the map? It may prove best to begin investigating the mountains. As you wish. I will prepare as such. Let us wait till the others come back to confirm whether or not that might be the best course of action. For all I know, they'll stumble across something that might suggest a different course of action. But if your goal... Sorry. <sighs> if professor the professor... Rockwell. Yes. If the professor is correct, then there should be something on this map. But I don't know if this map has what was described of the path through the faces towards Mornhelm. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to investigate these paths or attempt to make way at night. They could be a good failsafe during the investigation so we can find our way back without getting lost. That's why it's important to see if it's there, and if not, we should mark it. All right, and I'm guessing that you don't have any common coin for drinks or anything like that, Captain? Unfortunately, I do not. Mm, I have no leverage and no will to live. I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Your passion for the melodramatic is still astounding. Oh, woe is me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was... Uh, she plays. That was a lot. You go. what are you doing? Alright, Mr. Morpheus. Come on, let's go search for this cave person. Yes, the rock at the bottom. Let's, let's go and see if we can try to... All right. Uh, yeah. roll, roll me investigation if you got a trade. Let's see if you can find where Gideon went. Oh, uh, I don't have an investigation trained. Uh, survival to, you know, smell yes. out his musky scent. Exposure. Sure, I'll give you survival. Uh, yeah, if I survival trained, if I can know his stature and his gait, I can try to track his footsteps. Sure. <laughs> 
We're rolling. Yagul is short and sees nothing. Mikael is not short and therefore sees many things. Most notably, <laughs> he sees uh, what he thinks to be. <laughs> Sorry. Gazootype biker. Sneezes? He thinks he might see Gideon way off in the distance through the meager crowd of the town, leaving the eastern gate. I think that's. What is Gabe? Uh, see him? Leaving the east of the town. I mean, unfortunately fortunately for him, he stands out. So, I think that's him. We can go track him down see and see what's going on. Uh, no, let's go. So, how willing are you, uh, your ghoul, to. Or, sorry, rock bottom. How willing are you to. Uh, keep this up. How much do you know about the business we plan to do? Nothing. I actually know nothing of this business you speak of. Uh, this is fantastic. So if we get asked any questions, we're fucked. Oh, no, no. I love no, this no, for us. Yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I do know something about this business, okay. I was, I was thinking of something else. Never mind. I know, I know everything about this business, okay? I am <laughs> the guy. To I am a dwarf, <laughs> after all. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna inside check him. I don't fucking believe him. You know, my father, he was he was a great sculptor back in his day. And I picked up some, some, some traits from him. My father great. was a bit of a sculptor. How full of shit are you? Oh. Father part? <laughs> uh, that's shit. Yeah, that, that is. That is shit. <laughs> With a five insight, he <laughs> believes everything you say. <laughs> Just but I don't that. think you have the ability to, like, no. What do I roll? Mean? Deception? Roll deception. <laughs> roll deception. Or persuasion. Or persuasion. Roll uh, perception. Mm. <laughs> yes. This, you know what? This has this grouping of you three is known as the three stooges. It really doesn't matter. I have minus one and everything. Yeah, yeah. You believe me? You guys. Bah, I believe everything you're telling me. <laughs> oh wow! Fantastic. I'm glad you know something. <laughs> uh, yeah, my fault. He used to be a great miner. Steel, right. gold. Wow. How astute of you. Okay. Um, Ariel, are you doing anything? I was going to be reviewing the map to see if the path of Mornhowl to Downfrown was on it. And if not, to kind of make that note of to add it once we begin investigating that kind of area so we don't get haplessly lost. It Other does, than that... It does appear to be on it, although it is not a marked path. It is not a marked path. Meaning it's not named or anything. Huh. I possess a priest kit, but I do not think that would come with Quill. For me to make a note. No, but there's writing so, utensils inside your room. I will use some of those to jot down a quick note on there, so that way, um, in case one of my other compatriots look at this, they'll be like, okay, so that is the path that we were getting intel on. Um, at this time, I don't really think I could do anything because I don't have uh currency to let me blend in downstairs and um mm -hmm. i may be able to bullshit and talk but that's not really gonna get me much of anywhere so focus on the other bits of chaos i guess gonna Yay. take a nap with thorn no mm -hmm. i'm going to uh stay vigilant and keep her safe until I hear the chaos that you guys will surely bring. Good times. So, I don't know. have fun. Meanwhile, at the Eastern Gate, I'm just right over here, just right over here, no worries about it. What? Why do we have... This is awfully far away. Well, I live outside of the city, you see. Why? Why outside the city? wrong with inside well as i said it's too loud at night uh, that's understandable I, oh. I too like it peaceful Alrighty, righty here we are you know, kind of gesture towards his 
like carriage slash house. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. a gypsy cart, just all. He's got all the bells and whistles. And he'll come strolling up. Come on, take a seat inside. If you think you can fit, my big fella. Who we, my little door? I, I will, uh. <laughs> Do I notice any, uh. Special, like, markings on the outside of the carriage? Uh. Do you have religion or history trained? Uh. Neither of those things. Then you don't. Okay. I walk in. All right. He'll close the door behind you and kind of shift past you and take a seat. All right, take a seat, my pump. Take a seat, take a seat. Now, let's go ahead and, uh, how about you and I, before I get you that cure, we find out just who you are, hmm? My Gabe? Oh, son, I don't mean what your name is. I mean, who you are. I I do not follow. Don't worry, son. You'll see soon enough. Why did your accent change? <laughs> this, this, this man is Dr. Fasselier. What do you mean? It's always been the same. You seem to be talking different. He'll start to pull out some cards and start to shift them in front of him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. I am very confused. I can understand your confusion. You might not fully understand what's happening. But don't worry, I'll explain every piece. You see, before I can cure who you was, I gotta know more about you. And how can I know more about you if you cannot tell me? Well, there's only one way, my friend. Only one way. I'll have to ask the cards. Ooh. Your cards can talk? In a way. In a way. Oh, okay. What what do they say? Take a seat, son, and I'll show you. He'll take a seat. <laughs> Get comfortable now. He'll start to move the cards in front of him in a twisting sort of kind of quick flowing manner. His limbs almost seem to meld and twist as he begins to move the cards. Okay. At this point, you start to feel a dark presence in the room. It's darker, stronger. The cards are placed down in front, shifted and changed and twisted. They move back and forth until finally, each of the cards are laid down in tow. Piece by piece, they are revealed. Okay. One moment. can't believe y'all did this to me. How could y'all? Listen, you came out Listen, after don't... me. 
You're yeah, getting yeah. backstory. Be happy. Somehow yeah, listen, you managed don't to make a, a don't make a mop. Yeah, don't Molotov cocktail the wall, then blink, and then bitch about how your house is on fire. Okay, like you did this to yourself. You followed the man. No, we are meant to be there for him. We're also not gonna help you. No, you help him. <laughs> I don't need your help. Yeah, Ugh. that's what exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, when Dr. Fastelier turns into a frog, don't complain. <laughs> you know, if he turned into a frog, that would indicate some moisture. Rather than desiccating Gideon to bones. What do you mean desiccating me to bones? He's just playing with cards. We're oh. playing some Texas mm -hmm. Hold'em. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's what's happening. Yeah, we're, play we're playing cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't play yeah, games yeah, unless yeah, you know yeah, the that's... odds are in your favor. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I'm sure and those tarot so... cards will have no effect. And so the cards are revealed. First, the card of your past. The first card that's revealed is the Winged Serpent, a coiling coatl, its great bright scales shining with the light, its wings wide and true and strong. Abraham will point at the card and he will say, this right here is a good sign. It shows that you was a good man in your life before. That's something to work with. To gain the serpent's eye means that you must have been pure of heart and true in purpose. Oh, well, that's that's good. The second card that is revealed has on it the symbolage of a brass dwarf, their arms raised high above their head in a flex. Hmm. It seems here the brass dwarf is your present card. It shows an invulnerability, an invincibility to a current threat. It would seem that there's something about you that is impervious to the harm that's about to come your way. And with that... The third card. The third card that he pulls is the Silent Hag. You can see a grotesque looking woman covered in warts, wielding a rod of strength and power. This card here is your future. It represents blood packs, treacherous secrets, and discord. It seems to me, son, that you've got a secret locked away in your mind. Probably something that you picked up from your past. From your good and noble acts. A secret that makes you impervious to the threat you face. But a secret once revealed will bring ruin to you and those you care about. A truly unsavory sort of predicament. I must say that to be placed in such a situation is a difficult one. I promise that I could cure you, and I do intend to keep my promise, 
but I cannot help but wonder. Are you sure it's what you want, son? You don't know what that secret might be. Is it better to live in blissful ignorance, or would you rather know your miserable self? The choice is yours. Uh, wow, that's, that, that's, that's a lot. Um, I've always thought that I didn't care about knowing my past. And I don't want to do something that will hurt others. But now that you say that you can feel it to me, I feel like I need to know. A difficult choice in either case. But what will it be? Uh, well, it, I don't have any money to pay you. <laughs> the price will be arranged another way, son. You don't need no gold to pay me. Well, what will it cost me? The man will smile. And as he begins to smile, his face takes on a somewhat otherworldly sense. You suddenly once again feel the room grow darker. The man gives you no hostility, but there is a seriousness to his tone that you can't quite make out. The price is simple, son. If you want to know who you were, then you must provide a service. Don't worry. The service is not of death or pain. You will cause no harm to no innocent, I can assure you. But there is a price to all things. And with that, the man will produce a single black six-sided die. If you take my deal, you must only roll the dice. That is all. He'll pick up the die and look at it. Kind of like uh, roll it through his fingers. I, as tempted as I am, and as much as I would like to know, I don't think I can offer up my service to you. And he'll put the die back down on the table. Are you sure, son? There's a lot yet that you don't know about yourself. Don't turn a hand away because you don't like the color. Well. Yes, you're right. Pick up the die and roll it. Oh, let's go. Good. Very good, son. Fuck me, no. May the odds be in your favor. Etheria protect. All right. As you pick up the die as if to roll it, the man will hold up a hand. Not to roll it now, son but at a time of his choosing. Oh, no. 
And you'll know soon enough mm-hmm. when that time is to come. But now you made a deal. And a deal you shall have. Well, the gambler black always pays what is owed. Take my hand, son. Grasp the dark and let it show you the way. Take its hand. Won't you take the paw of Senna's hand? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out who you really are. Yo. One moment, please. Just enjoy the tones of the Gamble Black. Give me a second. Yeah. So, oh. hey, dude, I just realized I've had the browser muted this whole time. <laughs> wow, well, you've been missing out. I'm like, oh, we're not doing music for this? Okay. Bro, that was my one of my other back in the day. Uh, I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have to kill Gideon. <laughs> you can certainly try. He's, he, Apparently he's gonna make you roll that dice in the church, man. Yeah. Oh, that's the weeping night. Hey, I'm getting so hyped, dude. This is my favorite theater. Back with everyone. So y'all know, I I did a private roll to see if I would do it. I rolled a nat one. So. Oh no. Yeah, we heard, I heard a roll. I was like, where, yeah. where's my roll at? Oh yeah, no. Uh, it was... Hey, uh, wish you the best of luck. Gamble away or so. Yeah. If it was 10 or higher, I wasn't going to do it, but it was a nat one. You put it at a 50-50? Yeah. Gideon. Gideon. Mm, it's almost like gambling. <laughs> Mitheria cries. I saw Ivy shoot and die, and I wanted to join. And then she kicked me away, so I went with somebody else to shoot and die. You're a narc. <laughs> he's Both a fucking he narc. A narc, that's what he is. Yeah, say, he's a fucking narc. Man. Were you actually gonna shoot dice? <laughs> Because there's no way Ivy believed you'd, you'd fucking throw dices. Oh, man. Maybe. <laughs> Here's the thing you'd narc on me to Captain. I'm pretty sure he is still gonna narc on you. He's still gonna narc, but yeah, it's not gonna be bad. How old are you, Gideon? I just wanna double check something. Uh, my actual age? Yeah. Uh, I think I put him at like 34. For the actual age? Your plain touched age? Yeah. And you'd have to be older than that as an Asimar. Oh, as a, oh, okay. Um, Asimars are dwarf long. They're dwarf age. Okay. Um, so like 60 or 80, somewhere in there. Call it 86. Why don't you do a 60 and roll a 1d20? No. Oh, jeez. Yes. Yes! And so it begins. The weaving of my bread. One second. Meanwhile, while we're rolling dice. No. Heresy. How did you guys let all this happen? We, we now walk. have two dark gods with players on the board in our church party. <laughs> it's all going to hell. <laughs> it's what all going is, to hell. Uh, Gamble Black isn't here? a god. Patron. Big difference. Like a dark deity, though. He's not dark. He likes to gamble. 
Mm-hmm. We still have two dark deities in our team. Two pieces that have been taken. Well, technically, we have more than that. Three. Are you happy? Are you happy? You're happy now? Yeah. Yeah. Which three? We have Woe to Loken High and Gambin Black. I am a good child. No. Are you really? Yes. You could have turned them down, but you didn't. I am I? Did. Am I really? Are we the baddies? Yeah. Are we the bad guys? Y'all are the bad guys. No, not we. There is a y'all. The three of you. Oh, Who here is ready he's to? He's gonna make you roll. He's. Oh, God. I mean, there's meta knowledge, but yeah, I don't want to start dropping meta knowledge. But I can, I can assume where he's gonna make you roll that die. There's imposters among us. Can we just kill him on principle for saying I'm that. Venting. <laughs> he's venting, dude. I'm gonna mm -hmm. vent! I'm, oh my oh, god. Dude, we fucking crow and I stayed up until like five in the morning watching that. And then wow. we got to the newest ones and they uh, aren't dubbed yet, so we just couldn't watch it. You, you mean you don't speak Japanese? No, no, it was the fact that like we haven't watched the whole thing dubbed or uh, so. subbed. So, like. We didn't know who the fuck was talking. We, did, we didn't hear radio anymore. That was a problem. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't hear too. radio anymore. Oh. Yeah. Honestly, it's pretty damn good. It's not, a, you know, it, it knows what it is and it does it well. <laughs> it's honestly my favorite trash trash enemy of the season. So I'm, I'm, Next time is better. I'm looking for something specific and I'm having trouble finding it. Uh, yeah, you mm. Take your time. We can still talk. Is it your money and you need it now? No, I'm trying to. Are you collecting debts? Yeah. Is that why Frown Town? Oh my god, is that why the sheriff has been collecting debts? A little shit. Gambled away. <laughs> he lost it all to the die. He lost it all to the die, fucker. <laughs> That's why this guy's the law enforcer. Or the supplier, or whatever. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I see. Oh. <laughs> I can connect mm -hmm. some dots here and there. Well, I'll add this. This I'll is just... why he's a professor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, this song is a banger, though. I love Tom Kench. Oh, yeah. The beautiful son of a bitch. Alright, here we go. That is fucking gambler's theme song is baller. As you shake the man's hand, you fall backwards into your own mind, Gideon. And you begin to relive the memory of who you once were. Yes. Let's go. All right, Gideon. Tell me when you hear the music. All right. You awaken 
to the sound of a ringing bell. You move to the front of the barracks, grabbing your weapon. The cusp of dawn just begins to rise. You have been ordered by the sergeant to go and investigate the claims of a murder in the town, or excuse me, the murder in the southern district of the city. You move forward. In the distance, you can hear the crackle of thunder. A sheet of rain begins to fall. Clouds obscure your vision. And slowly, you make your way through the streets with purpose, with authority. You are Sir Gideon... Hold on. Sir Gideon Tarot. And you are a Knight Abolisher in the city of Bleak, far to the south in Dalton. And as such, you finally arrive on scene. The bright sun is obscured somewhat by the overarching clouds. But you see the residents that you've been told about. The resident of Edith Martell and your investigation begins. To be clear, what you're about to go through caped is a memory, so you can't leave the map, obviously, because it's the confines of that memory. But you can otherwise participate in it as you would have. You understand what I mean? Yes. Okay, give me just a second. trying to uh... sorry I'm trying to work with the weather effects they take a little bit to to work why is this not working Ah, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. You should be able to see rain. Huh. That's not very good. Hold on. Let me see if I can make this look a little better. Doing stuff on the fly here. Um... There we go, that's better. Okay. And so, you approach. You approach House Martell. And let me load the map for you. All right. Begin. Right. Whenever you're loaded. Alright. <clears throat> I am here. Uh, I will start making my way up the stairs and to the front door. Uh, just looking around to see if I spot anything or hear any Make any a perception I... check. You notice that there is a broken window here. Glass is shattered out to here, and there are kind of tears in the mud from a smaller pair of boots, maybe a halfling or child. Hmm. Come back and check on that. Go to go into the front door, and uh, I'll knock. Hello. The door opens. And you see that there is a guard who is not important enough for a token. I says, ah, so Gideon, you're here. Uh, please, come in, come in. 
walking. What we have is an attempted homicide with only one survivor and one body and one missing. Uh, this is... Uh, Mom, if you could have the strength to speak to Sir Gideon. And you see this old woman with a cut across her chest approach you. Hello! Apologies, evening, dearie. I, I'm, I'm in quite a lot of pain. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Is there anything we can do for you? Please. So. Can you, can you please find my dear daughter? Of course, man. We will do everything that we can to find her. What is, what is her name? What does she look like? Her name is Effie. Long white silver hair. She, she's ran away. You see, I need mm -hmm. her back, please. She's my pride and joy. My life depends on it. I understand. Terribly sorry. And uh, how do you, how do you spell that? Is that with one F or two? And two Fs. Two Fs. Okay. Uh, how old is she? Oh, she's now today over her tenth year, I believe. Hmm. What? All right. Why would she run away? We were attacked, you see, in the other room. And the guard will but there's a corpse in here, sir. Hmm. Oh, one moment. Let me look at this. I'll look in. Look into here and look at the body on the floor. You see the body of a halfling. You recognize him. The sergeant had been speaking about these damn followers of Sekulkus for quite some time. A whole guild of thieves that are running amok in Bleak. The bastard seems to have met his end, finally, breaking into an old woman's house. There's no telling where her daughter might have gone, though. The Sekulkites don't normally kidnap, but they'll steal anything if they get their chance to. Hmm. Suckle Q's followers. Always causing trouble. Odd that they would steal a child. Alright, uh, at this point, make me an insight or martial check. I'll do, do Marshall. As you take Bad a closer roll. look, you can see that this halfling was killed from the front, from where he is currently facing face down, which means that his back was to the window. Curiously enough, you see bloodied footprints leading out. Perhaps they were the girls. All right, so he was stabbed in his front, and there's bloody footprints leading to the window. From behind him, yes. Strange. Uh, walk out. Excuse me, Mother Martell. Was was there a fight? Did your daughter fight the man? I, well, I don't know, sir. I, maybe. All I know is that is that she's gone. Make me an insight check. This woman's grief is. Weird. Working in Bleak, working for the Guard, and indeed directly for the Witch's Council, you've seen a lot of things. You've seen men and women in grief, in anger, and in pain. This woman does not seem to be sad, but rather angry. 
far more angry, in fact, than she should be. Odd. He'll, uh, put his, uh, quill down, uh, along with his parchment. Uh, ma'am, you need to be honest with me. If you have, want me to find your daughter at all, you seem more angry than you are sad. So, I do not want to see these crocodile tears that you're giving me right now. I want the... Crocodile tears? What do you mean? I I miss my daughter. She is missing. Is this is this what you do to investigate? You harass those that are victims? Although you haven't fallen for her crocodile tears, the nearby guards have. It would be preventive if they were to suddenly turn against you. I'm, I'm just trying to get all the facts straight, ma'am. I fully intend on finding your daughter in our home. I'm, I'm just looking for honesty. I've told you, you everything. I've been honest with you. Why would I lie? I don't know. But it's... It just seems like... You're just giving me the... It just seems like you have the wrong emotion about you. I'm sorry. Are you sure you know nothing else, like, of how this person died? Did your daughter attack him? Did you attack him? Was there a fight? Well, I was attacked by him, and my daughter must have escaped. Was he here when... Were you, were you here when the attack happened? Yes, I was. Okay, did... Did he just, like, break in and you saw him with your daughter? Or were you coming home from something? I was woken up by a loud noise. I came into the kitchen, and there they were. He was eating our food, and my daughter, oh, my poor daughter, was so scared she couldn't move. I tried to attack him, and I must have got him good, but he hurt me as well, but my daughter ran from me. Hmm. It's strange that she would just run away. Did you tell her to run? Or no. did she just take him? I told her to be safe. Insight check. Oof. Yeah, that's yeah, it's believable. Completely. Hmm. Very strange. Very well, ma'am. <sighs> hmm. I'm not really sure what else to ask. If you want, sir, we can wrap up here if you want to try and find the girl. Yeah, finished getting her statement, and Roddy brought back, uh, for further investigation of it. Maybe glean more out of it. I'll start doing what I can to follow these footprints, although in this rain, it'll be fairly difficult, I'm sure. Thank you for your time, Mother Martell. And again, I will do everything within my power to find your daughter. Thank you so much, us, sir. Give a slight bow and uh, turn to leave. All right. As you turn to leave to investigate the scene in which this woman's daughter must have escaped. Hmm. You see that the tracks lead towards the north. I will, uh, follow said Trex north. As you turn to walk north, you step out onto the street, determined to find this missing girl and to find out the truth of the old woman's lies. 
You awaken. You are on the ground in front of the road leading to Downfrown. The caravan, the man, the stranger, nowhere to be seen. At this point, Mikael and Yagul start walking towards you, and you see that Gideon has fallen on the ground. Oh my god, I run over to him. He'll sit up. Uh, that. Uh, that. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Gideon, what happened? Huh? What? What? Where? What? What happened? Where? Where'd he go? Where who go? Uh, Ab Abraham. He was. Who? Weird. Who is that? Somebody I I met. I was... I saw you walking out of the town and decided to follow you. What? Why are you out here? I was following following him. And we went into his carriage and talked to his cards. And then I fell asleep, I guess. Now he's gone? You just talked to a strange man named Abraham. You picked up his cards and you're asleep. Nothing else happened? No. No, I didn't pick up his cards. He picked up his. Okay, he picked up his cards, and they made you fall asleep. What else happened? That that's it. Then I woke up here, and he's gone. Sorry, you I don't have any reason to not believe you. My right. my my head hurts really bad. Seems to me like. Alright, Kidam, do I know any maybe. notice any differences with Gideon? Well, you notice one thing. It's kind of, kind of important. Uh, you notice that his eyes seem more focused. Like he's not quite in a daze that he normally is. Hmm. You Whatever it did, you seem. It's. Did he give you drugs? Your eyes are dilated. Your pupils are dilated. No. Seems... Did he give you something? You seem more focused. No. Than normal. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Amber. I. I don't. I don't do drugs. <laughs> uh. Pretty sure. I see no <laughs> car tracks here. Seems like there was nothing here to begin with. Are, are there's there, nothing around him, right, Arcadem? There there's no, there's no sh. There's nothing there. <laughs> Guys, I promise, I have a dinosaur. Okay, where is it? It's right here. Hey, does he have all his kidneys? Hey, hey. I, I don't. Uh, feel, are you sure what happened? Are you sure you were not given something? There's nothing here. I. He didn't. It's just you. I. I don't know. It's fine, Gideon. Amber has her ways. We don't. We won't judge you for falling to our words. It's fine. We can, uh, we can just no, like I, I will, but he might. Uh, I will. I thought higher than you not to take drugs, but here you are in the middle of the field proclaiming you went in somebody's house. He gave you, he picked up cards, and now you're just here and your head hurts? Seems like you took something. On my sword, I did not take anything. Meanwhile, uh, back over yes. in the alleyway. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see how well go, you go, did. Go 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 go. How are you doing? How are you getting stuck? Ah, you pretty much break even. That's what I was going for. You I win didn't some. Wanna, I, you I wanted some. these boys. I it's wanted these boys good. to keep what they had, you know. Wake of the lads were just like, oh, oh. That's some good Man. plan. Good plan. But um, me and the boys should probably get to work. What do you guys do? Uh, we work in the salt mines. 
Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Come on, lads. <laughs> or the foreman gets angry at us. Who who owns the salt mines here? Sheriff does. It's like he owns everything uh, else. Of course he does. Did he always own it? Not always. Hmm. Old man Shay used to own it. Then he got forced out. Then after he lost his mind, he just just kind of gave up and died. Oh, that's so sad. Go shrug. Well, thank you guys so much. That was that was a lot of fun this evening. Uh, also, thanks for the information. And here's a mm -hmm. little tip. And I give them each uh, another gold piece. Well, look at each other. Nod. If you, if you find anything else out or hear anything, feel free to find me. I'll wave over their shoulders as they go to work. What nice boys. <laughs> yeah, you don't need him. Yeah, you're a strong, independent woman. Yeah. Hell don't yeah. Need no man. I'm a strong, independent woman. Roll the strength check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't right, know. Maybe she does need that. a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I I can't carry this. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, if I only had someone strong and strapping. Yeah, all right. Now you want it too much. Oh, someone come carry me at all the oh, oh. right, Let's go back to the end. God, that was, uh, that was too spooky. That's not what I wanted. I wanted. It was... <laughs> I was about to say, oh my god. Oh, Did yeah. I find someone? Oh, yeah. Uh, much so, I'm going to say in my mind, watermelons, what'd you think of all that? Oh, you hear, uh. <clears throat> <laughs> He's gone. He's fucking blasted. Uh, oh, what happened to you? You were so useful before. Now you're just useless. I'm on cool down. <laughs> Hold on, you had a ten week, you had a ten day vacation. What do you mean you're on cool down? <laughs> you let him grow. How does that sound like operated can... material? But it's not because it's satirical. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Why can't I just have like a normal familiar? This fucking Why argument could... again. Why can't I just get a normal familiar? Some... Oh my god, he's so hot. Please buy me drugs. God, <laughs> I'd take like a fucking rodent over the. <laughs> no, Jerry well... is mine. You stay away from. Yeah, I don't think she meant that one. Dude, fucking. Could you imagine Ivy and Jerry together? <laughs> just kill me, please. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Boom. Listen, I have a Fuck. plan. You're, I'm going to make you carry this and go into the enemy encampment. Straps a bomb to him. Oh my god. <laughs> possum. No. Alright, I go into the Is bomb. that a possum? <laughs> okay. It's an O possum. Oh! Alright. Alright, you enter the tavern. You can see the man behind the counter just kind of in the glass, uh, Thorn and Ariel are not there. How late is it? Uh, sun's starting to set. All right. How many patrons? Is it like meager? It's not a lot of people. It's like six guys. All right. I stroll up to the bar and kind of take a seat. Okay. Hello. What can I get for you? Uh, what's on the menu today, sir? Uh, ale. We have some wine left over that the sheriff didn't take. Uh, is he confiscating your wine? No, he's just such a upstanding member of our community that I can't help but give back to the cause. He oh, says in a um, rehearsed it's... manner. Hmm. It, it's okay. You don't have to put up that kind of air. I get it. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want? Uh, I'll have whatever is at least hot. Do you have any stew or anything? Uh, 
think we got some soup left. I'll take that in the room. All right, he'll pour you a bowl of sad soup. It's like chicken noodle, but it still leaves you cold. It's cold chicken noodle? It's cold chicken noodle soup. No, I don't want cold chicken noodle soup. He warmed it up as best he could, but you know, it's it's not enough. No. Oh, is it like the microwave one where it's just like hot on the very outside, but still cold in the middle? Yeah, it's not, it's not good. I will just kind of stare at it. Yeah, he'll the nod. Noodles. That's yeah. what everyone does. Noodles are all soggy. Pretty much. I'll, I'll just, uh, <laughs> I'll, I just want to talk for a minute uh, before I head up to the room. Uh, so, uh, well, how much is it going to be? It's a gold. All right. For soup? You... No, for the whole thing. Oh. And you're not here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I was taken aback by the cost of soup. <laughs> Go the soup in our room is a gold. We went over this earlier. Hello? Hello? Yeah, the room's already paid for. My God. Gideon, you're doing real good roleplay with him. <laughs> Sadly, she doesn't know that. I know. Um... So, uh, I kind of slide two gold pieces across the counter. Uh, can you tell me of anything going on in the town that... You mean other than the sure. fact that the sheriff is taxing us all to death? Well, do you have anything particular on him? Something that's... The sheriff is an upstanding member of the society, and without him yes, there would be no... Before. Yeah, well, that's what you're getting from me. <laughs> well... All right, then. I guess I can't do much to help you, then. How are you going to help? Maybe mm, you explain you who know. you are, huh? How do I know you're not working for the sheriff? Do I look like I'd work for that fucking guy? Hold on. Let me roll. Let me fucking narc. That's what you are. Narc! <laughs> <laughs> Smell like a narc. <laughs> I'm not a narc. He's like, even if you're not a narc, it's like. I don't know you, Scooter. You could be anybody. Yeah. Look. look. But if, if I was with the sheriff, wouldn't you know who I am? Wouldn't no, I come in here acting all boisterous? Oh, no. He, saw, he, he hires mercenaries all the time to come in here and trick us. He ain't the oh, first does he? That's fucking through. fucked up. Yeah. He didn't pay them very much, so they end up leaving, but... Mm. Although, he hasn't done it in a while. In fact, now that I think about it, you're the first new faces we've seen here in a... Well, that was a couple days ago, there was that... That was that Bard's entourage that came through here. Real exciting stuff, thought it was going to be something good, but they ended up leaving really early and... One of them was wearing a horse head. So weird. I mean, but you know, typical you, bards. You know, actors committed. Yeah. Pretentious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take this soup and uh, head up to my room. If you have anything you might want to let me know about said room, kind of give him like a, a slight wink. Uh, you know where to find me. And I head on up to my room. He'll, he'll also, kind of be taken aback when you say that, and he'll blush slightly. No, 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 no. No, nope, you like said that. it. You said it. No. Thorn, you're not even here. Oh. Oh, I know. No, not like that. That's that. Oh. That is oh. no. And no. the momentary happiness he had faded to meet the rest of the entire. I mean, wait, end. hold on. How? How attractive is he? <laughs> Let me oh my god. Oh Look. my god. Hey, she's allowed to have preferences. No, yeah. no uggos. <laughs> I mean, no uggos. like, All right, if let's, we're talking... Let's find out. Oh, he's average. Yeah, he's a well, uh, regular average. looking guy. All right, um, what, kind of, what kind of facial hair? Is he bald? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Let me, let me do some freak checks here. <laughs> What? Bro, no. Bro. 
All right. Uh, higher the roll, the more hair he's got. Oh my full god. Head, he's got a full head, full hair oh. hair. He's got a beard, beard? a nice oh. moustache, uh, trimmed. Uh, let's see how tall he is. Bigger bigger number, taller guy. Bigger and bigger is beefier. He's pretty oh. beefy too. He's toned. Oh. He's got some oh. you know, he's kind of like okay. a big bear guy, you know. And then, I, 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 uh, and then I, finally I voice. finally for the ladies, uh, the cake. Ooh, not a lot of cake. Oh. He's top heavy, top heavy. Top you know. heavy. Definitely. Top heavy. How, his, how deep is his voice? His voice is like, hey, Shaped just, like a Dorito. Hey, uh, you know. <laughs> Hank Hill looking at us. You know what? Maybe. Kind of give him a wink and head up to my room. He will grin sheepishly and actually feel way better about himself. He will remember that compliment for the rest of his life because he oh, is a male. Oh looks at camera. <laughs> <laughs> Affirmation from a woman. Affirmation from a woman. Monkey. Wow, Arcadum, you have nice skin. Stop. All right. God, why is that the go-to? Jesus, it's really no Jesus thing I Christ. Hear. It is. What and you fuck? have nice facial hair. You didn't roll those dice when Marlo was there because you didn't ask him to fuck, dude. <laughs> listen, listen, we haven't rolled the most important roll later. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I head on up, and uh, as I get into my room, I immediately press the digitation, the, the cold, sad stew, to flavor it up and make it warm. <laughs> oh, All right. Slightly oh. heated, sad chicken noodle soup. But right. it's now not so sad. You got him. It's slightly less absolutely apathetic chicken noodle soup. I upped the flavor. It's trying its best. It's so sad. The chicken was depressed when it was butchered, okay? Uh, the broccoli wilted before I, it even I, had a chance. I, I, take a, I take a bite of it, you know, slurp it down. Hmm, I wonder what Thorne's doing. Meanwhile, back in the room with the two... Breathy speakers. Two breathy speakers. Interesting. Yeah. What are you guys Sneezes. doing? Someone speaking some slander upon my name. No, just braiding each other's hair. <laughs> and wrapping up for the night. <laughs> Your ghoul's with you getting his beard braided. Oh, yes. Get How the hell are we going to fit the remainder of the crew in Getting his bald head waxed. <laughs> what did you ask, Captain? How the hell are we going to fit the remainder of the crew in here? Last I checked, all we got was one room. What? I paid five gold. I do not know if that means five rooms, my dear. That's why I'm asking questions. Oh, was going <laughs> <laughs> Crunkle, do you like anyone? <laughs> Got them all their own separate rooms? However, what? are they supposed yeah. to live, laugh, love in these conditions? You're supposed to pair them up, save the extra gold. What if we have to stay here longer? But that's just my humor. You're fine. Though this why does would, mean why that I should probably they have. They want to share rooms. Because it's bad enough we bunk where we are originally from. I see no reason why not. Besides, think of all the chaos. It's fine. You already spent the money. Mm -hmm. I was looking so forward to the gentlemen losing their shit and candling all night, but that isn't going to happen. <sighs> Speaking of the gentleman and I, where are those goofballs coming back? Meanwhile, back at the eastern gate. <laughs> you guys coming back? I guess. What else is there to do but listen to this fool's rambling <laughs> about a man and a cart? <laughs> and cart. He was there. You don't understand. There. You, okay, you have Gabe. gone insane, okay. Gabe. You just listen. You just took no, drugs. No, no, you listen I'm... to me. 
<laughs> no, you listen. You took. Calm there's down. nothing here. You. There's nothing. You are stuck in like you, like rock bottom. Fuck. You were in the middle of the road, unconscious. Why you rant about an invisible about a random man who's nowhere to be found, and about the random hut that you went in. It was nowhere to be seen. Are you saying the man what picked up this hut and fucked off? That would be Are true. you saying I'm lying? It up and just ran off the mountain? No, no, no. We're not saying you're lying. We would never do such a thing. Okay, we believe you, to a certain degree. But you know, let's let's put this all behind us and walk along. Okay. He squints. I think you're. I think you're full of shit. I would tell you right. Uh, yes, I think you're full of shit. I think you think you you left with uh, somebody, man or woman. You two, uh, you did drugs obviously, or they drugged you, and now you're here. Which is I'm very disappointed in you for that. I did not take anything. I sat in a chair. Where? In the carriage. There is no carriage or chair. There is no, no carriage. There was one. <sighs> you know, I'm I'm not. I'm. I'm... And there were. Uh, my there head no hurts marks. way too much for this. I, I, let's just let's just go back. You're that. making my head hurt because nothing you're saying is making sense. I'm you gonna know, get free. I'm gonna get free. Morpheus, I think your uh, parental side is showing a bit. You're gonna but, need to tone it down a bit there. This, you know what? Fine. Whatever you want to do, you do. Yeah, Whatever yeah. happened, keep your secrets. Because clearly something else happened, but I would leave it at that, that it's your beast. I, I'm not keeping secrets! I walked into a carriage with a man. He <laughs> brought out some cards to... do a, a reading, I guess, and... and then I pass out. Okay. Now that he's saying he's not keeping secrets, I'm gonna... Everything I've told you is truthful. Yeah, we are leaving out... Oh, <laughs> deceit by omission is still deceit. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, Roll a deception for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I, I know you, you I know a hundred percent you are not telling me something. Yeah, let him keep his secrets. He's an adult. He can handle them. But <laughs> keep your secrets of whatever you did whatever you did I like how the one who supports man. keeping secrets is the one who's a secret freak. I don't know what, what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let him keep Hey, it. adults! Adults are allowed to have secrets, guys! Yeah, adults are allowed to have secrets. Don't push up too hard. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. So, oh, Scrungle. Whatever you did, it, whatever you did, I saw you leaving the town. Me and... Rock Bottom. Yes. I saw you leaving the town. We decided to follow you. By the time we caught up to you, we found you here. Yeah. So you did something with the man, you say, more than what you're telling me. Or the man but if you want to keep it a secret, that is your business. Just know that I know you're, you're lying through your fucking teeth to us. So I thought we were a group and you wouldn't keep secrets from us, but... If that's your prerogative, how could you keep secrets from? Go me? forth. <laughs> Be ashamed of yourself, Gabe. Does he not have, <laughs> Does he not have the die in his pocket? <sighs> Look, he'll just stare down solemnly. I. It's not. I'm just Start with it. I'm still processing what what happened. Okay, I I will tell you later. Just not right now. Hmm. Okay. I can take that. More truth is revealed. Anyways, this is not the time I'm nor back. the place to be discussing things in public. Let's get back to the inn, settle down for the evening, and we can just all discuss this later. Oh, did you hear anything about the rooms I set up? I didn't get any keys. I remember... Uh, I would have uh, given you oh. whatever because you were there when I, when you made me go and purchase the rooms. Ah, never mind. Here's a key. 
you and Gideon in a room. This is... Like, I think I gave you all the keys other than mine. This is Mrs. White's orders. Did we you guys get, each get our own room? Wait, would we all get our own room? Yeah. Well, if, uh, if, um, a Captain and Revy are sharing a room, then we, the rest of us get our own room, because she paid for oh, five. Okay. I guess I'll hand you all your keys. Oh, there you go. Finally. Privacy. No longer in a room with everybody. I can mean, talk to you now, dark, uh, dark deity, sir. Out of character, of course. I wouldn't know that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know something? You, you got something in your chest, though? You don't know me. You don't know me, son. <laughs> you don't know me, son? How do you know me? <laughs> Alright, so does the party uh, settle in for a nice rest? Yeah. Yeah. We do indeed. We'll back. Yeah, we'll fucking Let's be a fast God travel to the morning. On whatever it is. Oh, no, 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 no. I fully intend on being that smart ass and being like, ah, so she gave you my key. I'll take my bedroom key. Thank you. Well, you're going to have to take it from somebody else. It crawls away. <laughs> oh, what was crawls up that? The wall. Oh, God. Up my the wall. God. Dude. <laughs> Did you just try to Zoidberg out of here? <laughs> I'm sorry, my inner goblin just came out. You oh, have to get it from you like someone else! Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone wants technique. to be plucked from the wall before they draw too much attention. Is this my room? What about Zoidberg? What about Zoidberg? What about Boydsberg? So, let me try to understand this both in and out of character. You, Thorn. Nova gave your cool yes, Captain. all the gosh darn keys for the five bedrooms. Is that correct? Aside from mine. So that would mean that your ghoul has a spare key. Is that is how the math works out? I believe so. Oops, I don't know the the spare key to what? Hey, I gave you five gold. You guys got five rooms. Yeah, so it would be full. Everyone gets their own. Wait, is Ivy cool. back at the inn yet? How did she get in her room? Yeah, she yeah. bought her own she room. Her own, dude. Oh, yeah. she bought so her own Almost like I am the money bags of the group. Apparently. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. we have yeah. a spare key. spare key. Then I don't have to go goblin on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> which is part of the reason why Ariel <laughs> was just kind of like, okay. I understand that we're all supposed to have separate bedrooms. <laughs> she says she gave the keys to you. Else. May I have my bedroom key? And then you... I've misdone the math. Oh, I found the key in my pocket. Here, have it. <laughs> Please try not to walk on oh, the good. walls. Oh, good. Key that was in my pocket. Ah, yes. I was going to head down for another bowl. Six key. Good night, Captain. Good night, Igul. Close the door. Ah, ah yes. Ariel's key. The key for Ariel. The key. Yeah, yes. Key Ivy for opens the door. Oh. Hey, guys. Ugh. <laughs> Walks away. Mm. Bombastic side eye. Bombastic side eye. Bombastic yep. side eye! Could I at least confirm that the rest of the goofballs have made it safely into their rooms? Yeah, they were. Except for Gideon. Gideon seems to be having a headache. I don't know why he came out and tried Is to find me. Is he injured? Me. Well, no. Didn't have any physical wounds on him. Maybe he's just gonna head down to get more stew. Oh well, good tonight. Good night, yes. I will sleep in my room, harmless. Very good, sleepy slap slap. Yes, yes. Well, Arcadium, like a, out of um, like a mechanics question, if I use divine sense, yeah. uh, is there anything that would uh, show that like there's not like an aura that like goes around me? It's just kind of like an internal thing. Divine it's sense like reveals the pre divine sense reveals the presences of those types of beings. But like normal he people wouldn't her. know that I've used divine sense. Can other like if I was it? like if I was sitting down at a table and I used, used divine yeah. sense oh, yeah. and anybody definitely. Oh, it's, oh if they're okay. if they're trained, they'd know. If they wouldn't, then they'd be like, "What? Okay. Why are you? What is happening?" You, 
you generated exposure, brother. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, you already have one exposure, but yeah. Okay. That was a mechanics question. Sleep on the dirty bed. I will sleep on the ceiling or wall. <laughs> <laughs> my man's a my man's a Baki character. Oh my god! He is. <laughs> Are you just sleeping on the ceiling? Yeah, I'll grab a blanket, wrap myself around, and boom. If you could Blink please, there's just draping. Do me, do me a small favor and make just one little little squeak sound. Just, just. One. Sure, I'll, I'll do a bit of. Wait, 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 wait. So you're getting on the ceiling. You're laying down against the ceiling, and you're doing what with your blanket? I guess he's just like weirdly <laughs> trying to put it around his body. Because you understand that if you try to cover yourself with the blanket, it's gonna yeah, fall, yeah, yeah. right? It's gonna like, fall, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh. It's gonna fall, dude. And no. if you wrap no. it around yourself, you can't stick yourself to the fucking yeah. seat. Okay, so this is where we need to get you a snuggie. I think I'm, I'm just I gonna guess. like use pins like <laughs> nails to just try to shank it to so the... you're just making a hammock attached to the ceiling <laughs> oh my god this is great. i'm making a hammock and i'm sleeping he's like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you mean, yeah, oh, it's the oh, bald yeah. spot. You know, you, you're absolutely right. You, it's the bald spot that makes you a freak. <laughs> <laughs> As Yagul is hammering in his nails for his hammock, Thorn just bangs against the wall. Keep it down <laughs> in there! Yeah, yeah. You won't have your silence when I'm done. <laughs> it's like, housekeeping! Oh! <laughs> That's exactly what I'm waiting for, actually. Ivy heads down for more soup. Oh, no, el ciego! <laughs> Don't es freak! And then he yells back, Don't es freak! He turns around, No, la entrada! Go away! It's the ugly Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, so Ariel will get into a room. Uh, pseudo barricade the door, check for terrible crap, try to sleep. Gay bossa. Uh, sleeping in her armor because why the frick not? Better safe than sorry. And with that, the party assembles. The slumber. My god. So, uh, is going downstairs for soap code for some things? I think it's code for something. Was that, uh, that thieves can't? Can I understand the <laughs> meaning behind that? I think it's wizard splack, but all right, cool. Have fun. Okay. Have your knowledge. So, you guys sleep throughout the night, and you wake up the next morning. That was... I will collect my nails and place the poorly, probably ripped up blanket on, uh, under the bed. Uh, come on, let's get up. So we just go to each of the doors I, for the party members. Did I get a visitor last night? No. <laughs> no, I was rejected. You ugly. Yeah, you are. Oh, you're the hold freak on. here. You're I the freak. He forgot. <laughs> Let me roll. Bro was so happy for the compliments, he didn't even care. See if, see if he's got the courage. He oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, how was the second stew? Was it was it good? It was alright. Alright. He... <laughs> he did not want to seem creepy by visiting mm -hmm. you in the night, despite your Somewhat vague offer. Looks at camera. Mm -hmm. Breaks the fourth wall. What? That's a rock bottom. How's the camera looking? How's the guy looking at the camera? Just what? Mr. Gabe. Mm. Morpheus. Miss White. <sighs> no answer comes from Gabe's door. Morpheus, do you have the battering ram? Well, uh. 
Uh, Mikael will walk out of his room. Hello, good morning, uh, Nova. Good morning. Get your friend ready. I don't want to waste daylight. Yeah, I'll go Miss get him. Miss Grumpy will go down to breakfast. I will go and uh, find uh, Gideon's room. Uh, knock nicely yeah, the first time. Hey, uh, it's time to get up. We don't have time to waste. No reply. He starts to pound on it like some authority is on the door. Yeah, he said, get up. We have things to do. Nope. Listen, uh, fucking get there. Gabe, Lisa, I need, we have shit we have to do. I don't care about your headache, please. We have a mission from the mine <laughs> come out of to do stuff here. <laughs> Think of your work we have... carefully, Morbius. Uh, yes, yeah, we have the mine, the <laughs> mine. We have things to do. Ivy's gonna he, wake up. There is no response. Head down. <laughs> you know, I can pick the lock if you want me to. I... Uh, please, I'd rather not have to pay it when I kick in the door. What the hell are you guys talking about? Uh. I don't know, I've been trying, I've been meaning to try this out. I'm gonna just pull out my lock picking tools. <laughs> gonna lock what, what do you like? Uh, oh boy. What are you lock picking? <laughs> the door. <laughs> Which one? The kitty in. Oh. Just like out of character, have you tried just opening the door? This is Gideon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the moron that's Hold on. Around. Before you do this, let me let me try something. Hold on. Let's let's. Yeah. Hold on. I, I assumed it was locked. I'm gonna try to open the door. Is it locked? The door is locked. Yes. Moron. Oh. Okay. Be real smart. Huh? Hey, listen. You never know. He he he, he is simple-minded. <laughs> so anyway, please. <sighs> hey, just oh, leave man. him alone. This is great. No, 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 I've been trying to be, I've been meaning to try you, this out. You, Hold on. you pick the lock. It's not a difficult lock. Oh, this is whack. Okay, open the door. Is, one, is, is Gideon even in the room? He is not in the room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did he climb through the window? <laughs> oh man. You know, I'm gonna head downstairs. Morbius, I, I, I you see Gideon already downstairs down. already eating breakfast. I'm gonna sit you next to Gideon. An early bird. Oh, listen, <laughs> listen, look, about yesterday, I'd prefer you if you don't tell Captain what I was up to. Don't tell uh, me what. You mean your incessant gambling problem. Okay. Oh my god, I was I'm not, not surprised. I. Captain, I don't have a God fucking damn. This is why I told you not Smoke to go and in be with me. I was obtaining information from. Uh, I also guess that was why you. Is there anyone in new or any I'll, new faces in the tavern? Nope, listen, just listen. the same old misery. I'll go over the information mm -hmm. when we get back up to your room, Ariel. Okay. Is Mr. Yeah, Hunky behind the bar? Mr. Hunky. Yeah. yeah, he's there yeah. still. He looks a little a tired. You know, you're good. He looks uncomfortable now. Um, you want Morbius? Wait, oh, yeah, I'm going to insight you know, that. Uh, I want to make sure it's not me. Mr. No, rock bottom. I think there's some things we could have learned from the situation. Oh. It might be you. Who knows? Oh. Or maybe he's Mr. shy. Keeper. Hmm. Yes? How can I help you? If you could please point me in the direction, give me a name of someone who might be useful for a mountain expedition, not the Morton How no, nothing with that, just familiar with the mountain with the mountain north of here. Well I'm afraid that the last guide that we had have already left the town. If you want to brave the mountains, you're gonna to have to do so on your own. Uh, we should be fine. Uh, we have a man. Uh, Let's just eat our Thank breakfast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's just eat our breakfast and we can go back up to Ariel's room and 
convene and come up with a plan. I'll await you all there then. We have to pay for breakfast. Do we have pancakes? No. That is way too happy of a meal. <sighs> oh Wait, no. Mean... Don't tell me we have waffles. No. It's gruel. Uh, you have gruel. This... Do these guys you have gruel? You ate an orc? You have oh my god. Oh my god. Dear god. You have We're sad gruel. Dear god. It doesn't even have in sugar in it. I gotta say, this gruel is, feels like it's just missing something. Can't a quite lime. put a Dear finger gruel, on it. Dear gruel, are you eating gruel? Uh, I'd like lime. That's that's a pretty sad meal. Do they have just lime? Eat a lime, right and all. Eat a lime. <laughs> not feeling. Like I'm going to. Sorry, see, lime does not roll my... with your ghoul, so you'll have to eat. Can gruel. I reach into my pocket and pull uh, out like an like orange? Gruel. Do you have oranges? Mr. Watermelons does. Ah. <laughs> uh, we joined them downstairs. Uh... Sure. He okay. gives you a watermelon. Oh. All right, I pull it out and I, um, Captain, can you, uh, can you divide this up? Hmm. You can have some if you want. Does the barkeep have a cutting board so I don't damage their table? The table's damaged, he doesn't care. Uh, yeah. Okay, go for knife it. please. Hands over Inquisitor Blade. You can't just use your sword and do it, you're not that precision. Not I would sword, never up, disgrace think? my sword by simply yeah, using it to cut fruit. Do you want to cut it? I, I don't have a knife. Here, it's fine, it's fine. Here, have the equipment. Anything that could cut? Thank you. Take six cuts here. <laughs> the Inquisitor's Blade. A blade meant to pierce the flesh and sew and sinew and bone of heretics. Cuts the orange easily. I thought it was a watermelon. What? You said orange. Yeah, but you said watermelon. No, I didn't. I said you got an orange with a watermelon. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I just feel like you're not pulling a fucking watermelon out of your fucking backpack. Yeah, I'm a magician. (laughs) (laughs) I reach, I reach down and get another orange and offer it up to anyone. Oh, I see. I can actually do that too. Uh, Mikael will stick his hand in his pocket, pull it back up, and flick it out, uh, flick her off, and then begin to eat her breakfast. <laughs> what, do, what do you mean, Mikhail, eat my breakfast? You? It's You're not gonna be boring. What? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. All right. Morpheus, are you okay today? Seems like you're not all right this morning. No, nah, pretty on par for him. I. I'd just like to do a little joking around. It seems uh, some of us uh, are not all in shape. Ha, it is time to initiate have... the humor. Ha ha! It is. <laughs> in order for jokes to be funny, you have to be friends with people. She speaks. Ah, uh, yes. But for you, is that it's why a you're not? Is that why you're not funny? Who says that? Oof. Mr. Watermelons. <laughs> I look down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ariel's just gonna on? adjust her glasses to hide her face. <laughs> only <laughs> only uh, Ivy heard okay. that. Only Ivy heard yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, it's in my mind. If I say it out loud. <laughs> All I heard was you saying shut the fuck up, and it was enough for me to just be like, nope, I'm not getting in the middle of this. Here's your Inquisitor. Do you want an orange back. here? Oh, back. Oh, thank you. I said, Captain. Yes, I will be happy to take another one. I throw one to her. Gideon, you want one? Nah, I'm okay, but thank you. All right, you can have your gruel then, your ghoul. I'll take an orange over this gruel anytime. Grammar right. for the gift. All right, so you guys have a, a nice, healthy, citrus-filled Captain Crunch breakfast. Ugh. Yeah. Could you imagine if Captain Crunch was so Alright, let's head back up and get a plan going. Okay. You all well, I... insist on going into my room, aren't you? Yes. Well, you You're are the, the captain. captain. This is your ship. 
before everybody fully walks up the stairs, he's gonna uh, Mikael's gonna stop getting into the bottom of the stairs. Hey, uh, Gabe. Uh, yeah. He whispers to him, "Are you ready to tell us about what happened yesterday?" No, and I'll walk up the stairs. Yes, uh, it's here. By my serious grace, you know, I feel like sometimes I'm surrounded by idiots. We but, eat every okay. day, smoke. <laughs> Welcome to my uh, life. Uh, me, 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 I will walk up the stairs. I'm gonna pull out the uh, the pipe and start smoking while we wait for everyone to get settled. Please do oh, not smoke in my room. Air in this Please room. do not smoke in my room. Why? Why not? I mean, does it smell like there's people have smoked in these rooms before? No. It smells like people have done a lot of things in these rooms before. Exactly, and I would Let's prefer not to ceiling. not have. Ah, oh, the hammering. Ah, fine. You're such a stickler. All right, once the door closes and everyone's in. Don't want Okay, so you guys are done eating and everything? We're burning daylight. So as I far as the mountain, I already looked over what we have as far as rations, rope. We have... Should, and, you get, and she like starts pulling out papers, so she's just like been working it's like... On this side of the town, there's this road to Mornhill, the path that we're going to want to try and find is this one up the central of this mountain, just north of Down Frown. And lucky us, we're here too late to get a guide, so we are going to do this in the daylight. Oh, where the scum is going to night. see us. What? You could have secured a guide for this morning, if that was going to be a problem. Anyway, it shouldn't be too hard to find them. They'll probably find us on the way up. That is not a good... That is not a good... Listen, that is not the good outcome. That's, that's the excellent outcome, because they're going to take us right to them. If they find us, they will kill us. No, they won't. Listen, while you guys are busy playing whatever the hell you guys are doing in the bar, I was out actually getting information. About some oh, nice young men. Well, while I was doing that, mm -hmm. they told me that villagers have been forced to sneak out through the gates up to the mountains, and they've not been heard from since. Implying that they've probably been taken in by the said cultists. Oh, good. On top of that, the sheriff's either been turning a blind eye for various reasons, whether he just doesn't believe it or he's in on it. We could always go ask the sheriff. I would rather not, because that would tip them off that we're here as under a strict investigation for it. I'd rather not involve him until we find more information. Thorne, did you had an in with him, though. Thorne, did you eat an orange? No. Did you eat an orange, Ivy? Yeah. Okay. Continue. Oh, Don't tell me they're fucking... Oh, <laughs> are, they... No. are they high oranges? You asked for his oranges. I don't know what you expected. <laughs> what have you given me? Okay, okay, here's the thing. Oh, I have, you just drunk half it. your party. <laughs> I have had his oranges in the past and nothing's happened. Yeah, because he didn't oh, give yeah. you those. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck is this You familiar? saw how bad he was oh, last night. He's evil. He is fey, Ivy. I keep yeah. on trying to explain this to you. You cannot trust him. But regardless, I don't actually know this in character, so let's pack up, let's move out. Alright. I just met a game, so that's just so hell bent to run forward. You're in a rush, aren't you? Right. Yeah. You just got to we're, we're not on a good timeline. Well, we have all the time um, in the yeah. world. They won't anyway. We're, we're in the Corvanus time of no. mine. It's just a terrible place. God, I wish that it was too. in Conflux. You know well, I understand that everything is of the utmost importance, but did at least everyone get to look at the map and your reports? I would yes. like to make sure that everyone is on the same bloody page. Yay? Yay? Cool. Yeah. So You are correct. We, we should go forward. What, what, hold on. We need to make a plan when we make contact. Should we pretend that we are just trying to leave the town and get the hell out of here? And say that we're refugees trying to get to Mornhowl to get away from this fucking shit fucking town. And hopefully they'll take us in. 
I thought we were miners looking for a place to mine. Well, that I was when we were in town. When we get up there, oh. that's not going to make much difference. I can also try to find a way to get us out through the gate. I mean, this town is so fucking poor. I'm sure we could probably... If we see them, money. we want to try to get away and be uninteresting. From the cultists? Yeah. Why? We're trying to go with them to find out where they are. If we find their nest, we'll be able to get adequate information. And upon further analysis, we can see whether or not we will need additional forces to take it out. Plus, since we have the map, we can take notations of the exact location, so if reinforcements are absolutely necessary, we can act upon it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thorn has I don't... doubt, but she will agree to your plan and wait until you're ready. I don't much care for it either, but the thing that's concerning me is that last pit part about how people go missing and they don't exactly come back. Yes, that I is I can trust in exactly the tenacity it. of our people, but yeah, I agree with Thorne in this being kind of worrisome. So, what if we, uh, what if we tell the, what are we gonna tell the guys at the gate? We're not heading towards that one, we're heading to the one directly north. Is that not guarded? Yes, yes, it is. I guess we will find out, and through your brilliance, we will make our way through. Why don't you just tell them that we are, we are hired adventurers that uh, the sheriff's hired to go try to track down these fucking rot scallions that have fucking left this town, and sure. to bring them back and force them to pay the tax that's owed. We're new; they don't know us. As you wish. I'm sure you could probably use that tongue of yours for some good. So we're changing our story again? Yes. Well, I they don't want a story. Listen, I you know. don't need to do any talking. You just look brutish, like always. Just look, put, put on a mad face, Just Be angry. Honestly, he kind of always looks mad. He does. Anyways, oh, off topic. Yeah. Have you guys seen Chris? Was he, was he in uh, Breakfast? That's another important question. I don't think they had bacon, so I think he probably went to go find some. Hmm. I think he has his own pocket bacon. I think he did, yeah. Is that why he's crispy? Yep. Crispy. Unknown. But we should check the stables to see if the equipment's still there, whether or not he's run off with it. I mean, I, I brought my trunk upstairs. Not yeah. that equipment, the carriage and horses. Who would steal carriage and horses out of a town stable? Do you guys, a lot of people. Do you guys people. go and check on the stables? Yeah, yeah I sure. would, yes. As you go outside, eventually getting ready to leave, you will check on the stables and you will find that <laughs> that old Johnny Crisps is asleep in the hay bell with two halflings on top of him. My god. Nice. What a legend. Right. legend. Very this crispy. Head. This this is clearly you know what I'll keep my judgments to myself, it's whatever. You know, Morpheus, why why can't you be more like crisp? <laughs> why can't you be more crispy? <laughs> Damn. You, you you know you know rock about them, why can't you Alright, let's just get but out of this place. Uh Mathair I mean, seems worth... to have taken your voice there. Very good. Keep your head out there. <laughs> oh, I said that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Rorak Bottom, why couldn't you be taller? But yet here we... Ah. You see, I was born a dwarf. Chosen. Yeah, that's kind of insensitive. You merely adopted the dwarf! I was born in it! Molded by it! <laughs> so, my toenail! Sorry. So, yeah. Nova, if if it comes to it and they, you, you can't finagle the... The guards to let us pass. Uh, offer him a little bit of gold, you know, ten apiece. Oh. See how that goes. With Money. what gold? Mine. Mm -hmm. I'm like you guys. Hand I can't be prepared. Uh, I'll hand it to them if need be. She Only as a last like resort. a meditative like pose and it's like, I will not stab the party. I will. I will. 
I'm not allowed to, and if Michael's not allowed to, you're not allowed to. It's just that simple. Oh, yes. Right. Meditate while we walk. Yes, yes. Oh, you don't want... I'm not going to give you my gold. I could sell you some gold for some anointed... I will not stab him. All right, you're he lost. continues along. Ariel will just gently pull Thorn into a moderate side hug and just pat her head. Bombastic right, side sir. hug! I, I'm I know. gonna go up to my room, gather my things, and make my way downstairs. Making my way right, down. Wait for everybody else to get ready. To... Oh, I've we're... been ready. What? Bro, we're ready we to got go. out of the room ready. Yeah. Is the party prepared then? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. All righty, you move towards the western gate. Did I get a inspiration from those masterwork uh, breakfast and uh, dinner? Making my oh, way no. downtown. Walking <laughs> no patience passing. I'm homebound. When you get to the so, western gate, everybody is feeling just fine. You didn't lace your oranges, don't worry. Oh, okay. thank God. You were scaring me there for a second. What if we were blasted? <laughs> well, we'd just have to take another day. <laughs> well. Mrs. Nova. Nova. As you wish. Oh, golly, don't hey. go. She'll greet the guards. As you approach the western guards, you can see that the two of them are rather rotund. Fat boys. One will look to the other and say, Hey, who's this lot? Hey, it's that new lot that came in. What were them miners looking for communications and cities or some such? Oh, I heard about that. Uh, what are you lot looking to do? Can't go through the western gate. Closed due to repairs or some such. Mm. Um. Oh, this is unfortunate. However, I do think that your hard work has been underappreciated. That's right. I'm pretty underappreciated, I am. He really is! Mm hmm. Oh, people. Like you deserve nice things, tiny things, relaxing things to take a quick nap. That's right, sure do. Don't know about the nap, but I do like nice things. Yeah, he likes nice things, he does. Mm hmm. If you could be busy for a little bit, which will kind of. I don't know how to describe, like. The bribery notion with the hands. Oh my god. It's just about rubbing your This is the last <laughs> resort, not the first <laughs> resort. Oh my god. Alright, the two will look you at each know. other. Are you. Are you trying to offer us money to not do our job? Yeah, you trying to bribe us? I'm trying to pass. The repairs don't bother me. Repairs? I look at each other confused. You said the road was shut for repairs. Oh, right, yeah, that's totally, totally true. Uh, yeah, sure, mm -hmm. we get a lot of money for repairs, yep. We mm -hmm. sure do. Mm-hmm. The road is not broken. They're obviously lying about that. Yeah. And why don't you tell us the real story? Why don't you turn around and go fuck yourself? Ha ha ha! Good one! Can I marshal check them? Sure. Is there only two of them, or is that like the two of them that are speaking up? There's only two guards here. They oh. are, uh... They're not that much of a challenge. Alright. 
Hmm. Is there another... Like, is this entire city walled in, or is there another way, like, just going up the mountain? It's walled out. Oh, I mean, good. you. I mean, I guess you could try to just climb up the mountain, but that would be really hard. That's why the mm. pass is there. How tall are these, uh, like, how big are these guards? Are they just mm. average height, a little taller in muscular build? Yeah, I mean, they're big fat boys, but... They have weapons and stuff, and they look like they might have one time knew how to use them. You know, I don't... It is unnecessary to be so abrasive. Um, why can't we pass? Because you can't! Roads closed! What, can you read? I don't think you can. Listen. Let's go deal with the sheriff. No, no, no. no. We're not going to go back to him. He's going to get mad at us again. Listen, he's hired us to do a job, okay? We have to go find those fucking people that left this stupid fucking town. Look, it's not my... Deception check. Hmm. Can I aid that or... Sure. You don't need to. Okay. No, she does. Look, it's, it's not look, Woo, look at that. whether they go or not. At the end of the day, how much of it is really our problem? And survey says... Ooh, my God. So high what the fuck is that? Yeah, and, the no. other, and the other guard. Ooh! Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys are just gone. Well, the first what guard's like... Chance? First guard's like, huh. You think they hide by him? It's like, ain't no way they would have hired them. I mean, look at him. Now, you're right. Sheriff only hires pretty girls. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Shot <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Whatever his inclination. You know, what would you need thing? from us? What would you need from us that to allow us to pass? Permission from the sheriff. Yay! Like I called. Alright. I'm gonna... How how busy is it over here? Is there like a lot of people? A few no, people? There's not a lot of people that move in and out of the city. Or town. Is there is there like cover somewhere? Yeah, you can find cover. Why? What are you trying to do? I'm just gonna get a little, a little ways away and... Uh, Please don't escalate the situation. Sleep. Oh, I'm gonna de-escalate. I'm gonna Guys, I think we should... uh. We should, we should go to talk to the sheriff. I mean, we'll we'll get our permission slip. Yes, let's go. Uh, Arc uh, Arcade, how many guards are here? Just two? It's just the two guys right here. Uh, can I scan the area where the closest guards are? Outside of these two The uh, closest guards dudes? are further in town, uh, gathering more taxes. Hmm. Guys, don't escalate the situation. Guys, come here. Come here, let's have a little, uh... Ivy's gonna kind of dip behind some bush or something. Uh, Mikael, before you walk, so we'll size up the guards and walk away. Alrighty, what do you guys do? Oh, what let's head her? back to the... towards the sheriff. I do not want to go talk to the sheriff. Ivy. I think, also not I, think Ivy had, sure. I think Ivy had a plan. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I could just put him to sleep. Yeah, that would be fine. Just put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. I, uh, I would prefer that we don't how, do how, magic. Why can't we just go get permission? I would as well, but I don't think that the... Sheriff is going to be on our side. I mean, because he's the only way he be on our like, Why didn't we start with this? Well, you were supposed to start with it and tell them that, and then you were supposed to be the one to talk. I'm not really great at talking. I'm. You know, I, have I think no we're at here. I think we What's have two that? options for our plans. Either we go to the sheriff and we show our hand, 
and that he, if he is working with the occultists, uh, we now, he now knows why we're here. And it could go against us. Or option yeah. two is to incapacitate the gods and go about our business. But with the gods being incapacitated, we now are coming back to a hostile environment. Well, they wouldn't know that it was me. No, but a new we group of town came in. We were, there were no groups in town, and suddenly two gods are incapacitated, and they saw, and somebody in the area could have seen us leave that we okay, cannot so see. They are not incapacitated, they are asleep. You're yes, but you're incapacitated and forcing them to sleep. I'm not saying we're going to kill them, but forcing yeah. them to sleep is incapacitating them at the moment. Have, have you have you not ever seen a guard fall asleep at the post? In it's the middle boring. of the day? Yeah. It's boring. Maybe Especially they pass out from heat stroke, you don't know. Down frown? The, yeah. The city of frowning and being down? So you're going to take the risk of putting them to sleep and hope that they just assume other than magic was used. Then yes. just a random anomaly in the middle of the morning, the the god has just fallen asleep at their post. Let's Listen, the sheriff people, runs. People don't know what magic really is. Yes, but the the issue is the sheriff runs a tight ship. Let's put it to a vote. Why he's not? he's he's willing to probably to if he catches the gods, he probably forces strong punishments on them. Do I need to shout? I mean, look at the town he has. No, yeah, Gull, you he do not need to shout, up. but we need to stop talking over each other. You have made your point. I assure you, you have. Your input is seen. But Gull does also have another point of we should put it to a vote. Yes. Who here agrees with Plan A? Who's going to want Plan A? Which plan is A putting the guards to sleep. Yep. I'll agree to it. Sure. Mm, that's three. And to go talk with the sheriff? Uh, I will raise my hand at talking to the sheriff. I do you feel that would bring us less trouble, especially since he's already associated with the church. All right, let's go talk to the sheriff then. Well, talk no, to the sheriff then. Only Gideon has voted, so. I'm okay with either. Well, okay. Well, I mean, Mikael's boat's already well known unless he wants to go beat them up so i don't you, i'm not going to kill them answer from you do you want to sleep or go talk we should probably talk hmm. all right well we have to captain. play by the rules or else it's just gonna bog us down and well that's a two versus I mean, four i guess indecision of talking to the sheriff i will tell you nope have to tell him what we're here for. We can just ask him for permission. He exactly. Say no. Well, he'll probably want to know we why. Can pay him, like for access. Give him. A, uh, go I on. can pay him. Yes, you can pay him a hundred gold, and maybe he'll let us through. We don't have to tell him <laughs> why we're. A hundred gold? You're high. I believe you're high, but that's beside the point. I am not gonna pay him. We can offer our services to go catch down the people who have illegally left his town under his direct order. But if we go to do our job and we come back empty handed, it's not exactly a good thing either. Well, we could tell them that uh, they've probably Demon successfully Satan? made their way to Mornhowl. Or we could tell them that we found the encampment of where they're all hiding out. Sheriff sends his own people as reinforcements, which removes the bog downtime. We're not here for the town. We're here to get the cultists. Why would we get? Yes, the, the town people are not our issue. We could tell them whatever we need to. If we go up to the mountains and find what. Okay, so let's. We could just tell them we didn't find anything and take our stuff yeah. and leave the town. Really? If they try to stop us from leaving, then we show, then we force our hand that who are with, and then we leave. I agree. That should be our best course of action. Well, the vote has been made. No reason to give uh, explanations or right. your... Talk to them, communicate, tell them that we need to go. If the man so, presses further... So you go to speak to the sheriff then? Unfortunately. Yes. yes. Alright, you turn away from the gate and move to the sheriff's palace of an office. 
And as you approach, you can see that the sheriff is currently in a loud conversation with a mysterious stranger. <clears throat> and that is where we call the session for tonight. Arcadum, hey. is it high noon? Yay! It's no. high noon. <laughs> no, it's like 10. Like it's early 10. morning, my good. Well, that's why I asked him. Yeah. It's Good quarter morning. after 12. Hey. It's an hour past 11. <laughs> Do we have it? Oh, we've got some fan art, it seems. Ooh. 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 I do like my art fan. Yes, yes. Oh, my yes. God. <laughs> uh, Beautifully done art. It's just yes. had my fucking wind out of my sails. Excellent. Uh, uh, I you love will my suffer pose. as we do. I love my pose. It mm -hmm. looks this is your friendly cool. reminder to not doodle while tired. <laughs> Hot Dutch Sailor. Well, Gideon um, is fucking jacked, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the abs. Mikael just got around. <laughs> He's, He's like, please make it stop. Mm -hmm. Ivy with her little water bottle the, uh, the dad bought abs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Hell yeah. Give us back our armor now. Uh, As we make them wear the freaking sailor, sailor outfits. outfits. I love the watermelon on the collar. Very nice. <laughs> it is very yeah. good. Nice touch. Nice. Why Why is your ghoul's eyes so seductive in that picture? Because <laughs> he's so pretty. <laughs> he's the prettiest girl at the ball. Mm-hmm. Prettiest rogue of all Pilsen. Oh boy. The cards. <laughs> what the cards it the hell, yeah. <laughs> I hate yeah. sleeping in hotel beds. <laughs> I agree oh wholeheartedly. <laughs> I agree. Oh, Dude, man. he's I... a freak. <laughs> he's a freak. <laughs> he's a freak. Dude. No. Sleep I can't this is why him. we don't sleep together. I'm That's about to like... bend. No, I'm about to bend. <laughs> just pay some homage to Booker. Do some bat squeaks. I... Do my song. Just... I'm about to bend. <laughs> Sorry, I, I very much like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks yeah, for all the support. Thanks for all the gifted subs. Thank you, Stiff Bodies. Uh, Go Master Dog and Richie Rich. You're welcome, big man. Very cool. You guys are very, very generous. Mm -hmm. I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Thank On you. Dragon Bye, Ball Z. Bye. Bye.